contest is being taken under the authority of the Kansas State High School Activity Association, whose rules provide for fair play and good sportsmanship among athletes and coaches. Respect for the officials, players, and coaches, and respect for the host facilities are expected and essential for the success of this athletic event. We encourage you as fans and spectators to applaud fair play, respect the rights of those around you to grow and own the highest ideals of good sportsmanship. The use of tobacco products in any form within buildings belonging to USD 413 is prohibited. We ask for your cooperation in upholding this policy, and we thank you for your support of Blue Collar Football. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we recognize our senior fall athletes from football, golf, cross-country, band, and cheer. These students have put in four years of hard work and dedication inside and outside of the classroom. Tennis seniors will be recognized at a later date. So they are currently, as they are currently competing at the state tennis tournament in Winfield. We'll, find, we'll get you some updates on that uh, progress. We would like to recognize at this time, beginning with football, senior Hunter Anderson. Hunter is escorted tonight by Crystal Small and Darren Anderson. He's participated in football for four years, wrestling for three years, and baseball for three years. Hunter plans to go to a four-year university to study chemical engineering. His favorite memory of football is creating friendships with teammates in the winning league last year. Senior Hunter Anderson. Next, Senior Keith Clark. Keith is escorted tonight by Amy Morrison and Russell Clark. He has participated in football for four years, track for four years, and basketball for two years. After graduation, Keith plans to attend the Osho County for one year and then transfer to the University of Texas at Austin for aerospace engineering. His favorite memory of football is Coach Nolan's birthday dinner at El Pub, ladies and gentlemen. Senior Keaton Clark. Hey Dave, we got a handful of stats graphics, uh, player comparison graphics, Next team stats, and things like that to start out. I am escorted tonight by Jackson and Melissa Dean. What? He has participated in football for two years, nope. here for one year, and Special Olympics for four years. After graduation, okay. Diana plans to well, live every day. <laughs> Check, check. After graduation, Isaac plans to pursue a career in welding. Yeah. His favorite memory of football is when Jennings won SCK League um, with an undefeated record at the time. The ladies and gentlemen, senior Isaac uh, Dalton. Ooh. Next is George Duncan. George is escorted tonight by Jane and Linda Duncan. He participated in football There's like for a, four years. Basketball oh, for four years. Man, what is that? Check, check. Check, check, one, two, one, two, three. There's a whistling sound. A whistling staticky sound. Check, 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 one, two, one, two, three. Check, check, one, two. Check, check, one, two. Ah. Let me check it. Let me check it. That's better. It's gone. Check one, two. One, two, three. Check, check, check. A one, two, three. Check. Next is Callum Haynes. Callum is escorted tonight by Gail and Neil Haynes. He has participated in football for four years, baseball for three years, and basketball for one year. After graduation, Callum plans to attend KLEDC. His favorite memory is all of them, ladies and gentlemen, senior Callum Haynes. 
Next is senior Peyton. Football and band. Peyton is escorted tonight by Cliff Hurst and Chrissy Slaughterbeck. He's participated in football for four years, band for four years, and in tennis for three years. After graduation, Peyton plans to attend a four-year college where he plans to study nuclear physics or neuroscience. His favorite memory of football is last year's undefeated regular season. His favorite memory of band is playing the great locomotive chase during concert season. Ladies and gentlemen, see Peyton Hurst. Next, Peyton Kingston. Peyton is escorted tonight by Erica Nash and Richard Kingston. He has participated in football for four years, basketball for four years, and track for three years. Graduation stage plans to play football at an undecided college. His favorite memory of football is beating Pittsburgh three years in a row and has done out this year. Ladies and gentlemen, senior, Jaden Seamster. <laughs> Next is Jay Carter. Jay's is escorted tonight by Tim Haynes and Keith Carter. He has participated in football for 10 years and wrestling for eight years after graduation. Jay plans to go to Lyman School and pursue a career in that. His favorite memory is having a pick against Pitt and our team being at 27 zip. Another, another is playing Fort Scott and driving down the field with 64 seconds left in the game and having a great chance to put the team in a position to win 29 28. We remember that well too, Jay. Ladies and gentlemen, senior Jay Carter. <laughs> Thanks to the Dustin Susan. That's the success for tonight by Debbie and Linus Susan. He's participated in football for four years, track for four years, judo for a year, class officer for one year, and has been an honor student for four years. After graduation, Augusta plans to become the President of the United States. Lots of us with that one. Yes, his fa her favorite, his favorite, his favorite memory of football is when after we won the SEC League sophomore year, we got a new series that said, in his own SEK League, top tier moment, senior Augustus Lucid. <laughs> Next is cheer, Camry Bennett. Camry is escorted tonight by Amanda Flowers and Nathan Bennett. She participated in cheer for four years, and after graduation, Camry plans to go to New York for two years and then on to KU. Her favorite memory is all the band rides to and from the game, senior Camry Bennett. Next is Jaden Ellsworth. Jaden is escorted tonight by Jamie and Kirby Stanislaus. She has participated in cheer for four years and has been cheer captain two years, OSA for three years, and OSA officer for two years, and volleyball for two years. After graduation, Jaden plans to expand Kate J. Ware and study nursing at an undecided college. And hashtag Jock J. J. Ware. Her favorite memory of cheer is the van ride home oh, and stop and quick trip with a fast five after the wrestling girls won state last year. Ladies and gentlemen, senior Jaden Ellsworth. <laughs> Next is Tessa Golay. Tessa is escorted tonight by Mike and Crystal Golay. She's participated in cheer for four years, FFA for three years, and journalism for four years. After graduation, Tessa plans to pursue a degree in agricultural education. Her favorite memory of cheer is all of our team bonding talk before practice starts. Ladies and gentlemen, senior Tessa Dolan. Next is Chloe Miller. Chloe is escorted tonight by Melinda Weed. She has participated in FCCLA for two years, FFA for two years, and cheer for four years. After graduation, Chloe plans to attend Wichita State University. Her favorite memory of cheer is being at the Fort Scott football game and being able to sit our own student section. Since I've cheered every year, I've never got to experience a student section, so it was a fun experience. Ladies and gentlemen, senior Chloe Miller. <laughs> Next is Yasmin Pastor Okla. Yasmin is escorted tonight by Edwiga Sofa and Rolando Pastor. She has participated in cheer for three years, for language club for four years, NHS for two years, and honor roll for four years. After graduation, Yasmin plans to attend Pittsburgh State University for four years to major in nursing. Her favorite memory is getting to meet the team for the first time and winning first place in UCA camp routine. 
senior, Yasmin Pastor Okla. Now for the men, Evangelina Campbell. Evangelina is escorted tonight by Candace and Brian Campbell. She's participated in band for four years, journalism three years, advanced art for two years, digital for two years, and dance for three years. After graduation, Evangelina plans to major in physical art and apply for an apprenticeship at a nearby tattoo bar. Her favorite member of the band is performing in the Sax Quartet, ladies and gentlemen, Evangelina Campbell. Next is Rhett Hassett. Rhett is just going tonight by Richard and Angela Hassett. He's been participated in band for four years and struggled for four years. He plans to attend Harvard to pursue a career in neuroscience. His favorite memory of band is going to all the competitions and making new friends. Ladies and gentlemen, senior Rhett Hassett. Next is Kayla Kendi, band and dog. Kayla is best scored tonight by Donald Kendi. He's participated in golf for three years, band for four years, NHS for two years, bowling for two years, soccer for two years, FFA for three years, and honor roll for four years. After graduation, Kayla plans to go to the university and major in biology. His favorite memory is when he started the new season. Don had a lap putt and tipped, and tipped the ball into water with a putter, ladies and gentlemen, senior Damon Kennedy. Next is Aaron Maddie for Band and Golf. Aaron is escorted tonight by Amy Rinker and Brian Maddie. She participated in band for seven years, golf for two years, wrestling, two years, hosted for three years, NHS for two years, and single for three years. After graduation, Aaron plans to major in psychology at an undecided college. My favorite memory of band is Carson and me doing choreography. Our drum major salute every day with Mr. Davis. Her favorite memory of golf is the team serenading Woodard with a pitch perfect rip off in the, in the band after our tournament at Pittsburgh, ladies and gentlemen, senior Aaron Maddy. Now is Ian Martin. Ian is escorted tonight by Jenny and Peggy Martin. She's participated in band for seven years, journalism two years, TV broadcasting for three years, and press for years. Graduation in class is in Fort Hayes State University to study digital media production. His favorite memory of band is when the band did a Michael Jackson halftime show. Senior Ian Martin. Next is Isabel O'Brien. Izzy is escorted by AJ O'Brien. She's participated in band for one year and a chess player. After graduation, Izzy plans to get a high paying job, travel the world, and go to Jump Academy as well. Ladies and gentlemen, senior Isabella O'Brien. Next, senior Blaine Smoot. Blaine is escorted by Jacqueline Smoot. She participated in band for four years, jazz band for two years, Collins Bowl four years, Shugo for four years, NHS for two years, tennis for four years, and soccer for one year. His favorite memory of band was having a fun time at New World last year. Ladies and gentlemen, senior Blaine Smoot. Next, Erica Swain. Erica's escort tonight by Keith Swain. She's participated in band for four years, NHS two years, HOSA three years, journalism one year, advanced art one year, and debate a year. After graduation, Erica plans to go to Cornish School of Arts in Seattle, Washington to major in fine arts, and become a tattoo artist and designer. Her favorite memory of band is the Michael Jackson halftime show senior, Erica Swain. Next is Brady Twilight. Brady is that for tonight by Brandy and Richard Twyler. She's for two years, FFA four years, band seven years, golf four years, and honor roll for four years after graduation. Brady plans to study architectural engineering at an undecided college. His favorite memory is the band rides to and from competitions and the conversations that take place. Senior Brady Twyler. Next is Noah Vogel. Noah is that for tonight by Reagan and Nate Vogel. Band seven years, soccer four years, tennis four years, musical two years, NHS for two years, Hugo for six years, and basketball for three years. After graduation, no plans to study music education at Kansas State University. His favorite member of the band is driving around the drum line at all band at band camp. Ladies and gentlemen, senior Noah Vogel. Next is golf. And Elega Hagen. Ella is escorted tonight by Amanda and Brian Gahagan. She's participated in Seattle for two years, 
most of two years at their pay for three years, not for three years, and golf for two years. The graduation of a plan to attend the Ocho County Community College to earn an associate's degree. The favorite memory of golf is playing in the sprinklers after they went off while practicing on the planning green. Senior, Elijah Hagen. Next is Emma Waltermeyer, and is is escorted tonight by Justin and Rachel Walter Meyer. She's participating in Cinco for four years and in Chess for two years, and CBA for two years, and four language clubs for three years. Graduation, Emma Bland, thanks to City Business Management at an undecided location. The favorite memory of golf is having car pool karaoke with my teammates and coaches going to and from the tournaments. Senior Emma Walter Meyer. And finally, cross country. Trenton Banks. Trenton is escorted tonight by his parents, Paul and Tara Banks, and his mom, Amy Thompson. Trenton said that Nick is unable to attend tonight due to his service in the Army National Guard. He's participated in cross country for four years and track for three years. At the graduation, Trenton plans to attend community college at an undecided location and run cross country. He loves to pursue coaching cross country. His favorite member of cross country is qualifying for state last year as a team and having such an amazing season. He says, I love my cross country team and coaches like family. Forever grateful for every moment we've had together. These four years have been the happiest of my life. Senior Christian Banks. <laughs> Finally, we have senior. That's senior Joe Tech. Lazo Terranoa. Terranoa. Joe Tech. Escorted tonight by his father, Jose Santos. Lava Barahona, grandmother Mary Korea. She participated in cross country for four years, track for four years, basketball for two years, and chess for one year. After graduation, Joseph plans to attend Hutton Community College to complete to complete general education requirements and transfer to KU to study computer engineering. His favorite memory of track is the chaos of the Gerard track meet last year as it was boring and everyone was still having fun. Gentlemen, senior Joseph Lazo Barahona. And that completes our honoring of our seniors. We thank you for the hours and hours of dedication you've committed to your various activities and sports at Canoe High School and Western Middle School through the years. We thank the parents and grandparents and all the families for the many missed family gatherings that they have sacrificed. For the car. Thank you, seniors, and we wish you the very best. And welcome to another edition of Schnute High School Football on Comet Vision. Comet Vision. My name is Dave Rimble. I had to say it twice. It's so good. I had to say it twice. Uh, I'm here with Coach Chad Graham, and we are here to uh, bring you the play-by-play -play and the color commentator, commentating respectively, tonight for the Schnute High School uh, football game. It's nice to be back. Yeah, yeah. It's good. It's good to be back. We don't, uh, you know, Common Vision doesn't go on the road this year because we need better internets and stuff. So that we can screen when, we, when we've traveled so far with so many kids. So mm -hmm. it's, it's nice to be able to come and give the folks that get to what they want to sit at home and not face these elements of the wind and the cold that's starting with winter now. They can enjoy the game at home. Yeah, and tonight uh, we have what is uh, – Probably a key game in the SEK, as uh, the only two teams with wins in the SEK are meeting here tonight on this field in Schnute and Field Kindley. And so, yeah, we're getting ready for a high caliber SEK football game, and it's going to be, I'm expecting a great game. It's going to be a war. It's 
she knew she'd come out from the locker room ready to start and play four quarters like they do. Yeah, they'll finish, and we'll, we'll come out ahead. It's going to be a fun one. Stick around. We're going to let you view the band and the, the national anthem and all that. So uh, we'll be back here in just a bit with kickoff, but enjoy the pregame festivities. I'd like you to please rise for the presentation of our colors by the American Legion Post 170 National Guard, our guard. At this time, we ask that you remain standing as we honor the United States of America with the playing of our national anthem by the Blue Pride Marching Band conducted by senior drum majors Aaron Maddy and Ava Campbell.
by the distinct pleasure and the privilege to welcome Coach. All right, we're getting ready for some football. The fireworks have happened. The Rockets red glare and all that. It's all happening. It's all happening. Getting ready for the football on the field tonight. Shoot High School versus the Golden Tornadoes. The Golden Nado, as they like to call them. Field Kinley, six and one Chanute, four and two Field Kinley. And uh, what we have tonight uh, is, is a pretty good matchup of offenses. Well, we definitely have a good matchup in the rushing game. And uh, Chanute obviously has a better passing game than the other team. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting. We got to tackle and we got to contain. No. Uh, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a test uh, for the defense on the uh, the outside runs. Correct? Yes. He he likes to bust them from the inside to the outside. Yeah. Aaron Tunstall. Aaron Tunstall was watching a little video of him. He's got a lot of speed to the outside. Quentin Harding, as you uh, see the comparisons on your screen right there, it's Quentin Harding will most uh, definitely be back playing some, getting some more snaps tonight at running back. You know, he's been coming back from an injury and uh, wasn't playing running back as much. They had him in a linebacker pretty much exclusively uh, a couple weeks ago when we were at home. And so now we're going to see two of the best running backs in the SEK right here tonight, Aaron Tunstall and Quinton Harding. And I'm excited to see that. It's, it's really going to be uh, – this game probably is going to be decided by what lines can grab domination first. It's one in the trenches. Yeah. Uh, it's a couple of other running backs that get carries on the season. Joshua Shob of Field Kindley, uh, number seven. He's got 344 yards on the season. And Landon Bilby, who uh, was filled in capably – for Quentin Harding when he was hurt uh, with 264 yards and a couple touchdowns on the carry. Look at those averages. Those are high those averages. Are nice, yeah. nice yards per carry. Yeah, not bad. And now uh, a couple of the big receivers here for this game, Keyshawn Hayes for Field Kinley and Caden Seamster, who was a senior here on senior night. Saw him walking out there with his parents. 495 receiving yards on the year, 26 receptions and four touchdowns. Uh, we'll see. He's ranked seventh in the state of Kansas for a as receiver. Yeah, Caden. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're gonna see um, a bit of a clash of styles as Field Kinley will look to run the ball and run the ball pretty exclusively. While uh, Schnute has run it more this year than traditionally, I would say they have because they have a sophomore quarterback and Chris Harding the second. But when they've asked Chris to throw the ball, he's been capable. He's came up with a. Uh, there's a few it said there was a discrepancy there, but 1,200 and well, what do we got? 1,200 uh, yards. 1,200 or yards. <laughs> yeah, passing. Mm -hmm. So 10. Uh, yeah, that so was running too. Sorry, Nick. We're looking to uh, uh, start this game here as they've done the coin flip and the meeting at the field, and we'll see who won the toss and. Who gets the ball first as both teams move back to their sidelines in an exciting manner? And this is going to be a big game. Both these teams know it. This is a this is a big game as far as who is going to win the SEK. And I, I can't remember a lot of games like this in the last couple of years. You know, the SEK has been kind of down uh, the last couple of years. Schnooch dominated, and uh, so it's it's this is going to be fun. It's going to be a fun game, especially having them come in two and zero. Oh. In the league, them two and zero. We're we're only one and zero. We've only played one game mm -hmm. in the league, but yeah, and it came down to the last play last week. One point. Yeah, so a lot different than last year. For Scott was was uh, was up to the task of giving them a challenge, and we'll see what happens this week. Which is nice to see the young kids growing, as we've watched over the last three years together, um, to where they're competing with Chinook. Chinook continues to get younger developed kids to continue to fill in where they lose their seniors so the blue comets look like they lost the toss and coffeeville deferred and therefore chanute will get the ball first well the blue definitely looked fired up so kicker for the nato zach becker six foot two senior also plays on the line He's back to kick it off. Most special teams sets the tone of many games in all different levels of football, Dave. This is a good kick and deep, and it's going to find the end zone. Well, goodness gracious. They say if you can make it in the kicker, you can get a scholarship. So that, 
Schnute will start on offense on their own 20 yard line for their first series of the game. We'll uh, bring the starting lineup to you as we, as we see him come out, but we know that Chris Harding, the second, starting at quarterback, sophomore. You've got Elliott Stevenson to the far side at receiver on this side. You have Seamster and Tarter. And Quinton Harding back at running back here to start this game. Here's the snap to Harding and the give to Harding. Quinton finds the seam, cuts it up the middle. Got a big gain out past the 30. So a first down, gain on first down. His wheels were going. He was, if he had just cut to the outside and got his speed to going, I don't think it, he'd have got a lot more yards. But he Coffee made a right hand cut. And safety made a good tackle. Yeah, Field Kinley has not allowed a lot of points, but I don't know if they've seen a rushing attack like they're going to see tonight from the Comets. Harding and Harding in the backfield. The law firm is back. And we spread them out. Chris Harding with the snap and the give to Quentin. Quentin trying to bounce it outside. Now cuts it up, loses his footing, but gained a few. That was a good cut. It was wide open. Yep, just lost his footing and gains call four yards. It's second and six. Our line... The line seems to be winning as of for a few plays there, Dave. We said it's going to be one in the trenches. Well, the linebackers will make a big all, tackling will come in. Tartar comes out here to the near side. Two receivers on the other side, and Elliott Stevenson and Seamster. It is Seamster in motion, and the fake to him, and now a fake pitch. Chris Harding going to keep and try to escape, and he's buried. That was a good read by the linebacker and DN there. Yeah, defense stayed home. It was a pretty good play, set up fakes, yep. a couple fakes there. That was just good defense. Just good defense. They stayed home, didn't go for the fake, and pinned him inside. That brings up third down and seven, and an early – early uh, tone setting play coming up. He has no problem getting seven yards. Three receivers again. They've got all their linebackers stacked inside as they were going to run it. We got all the play. Stoppage of play here and a flag and we got offsides. On them. The ref is pointing to them. That won't be a first down, but it'll make this play a lot shorter. Maybe could, change the could play. Could even change the play. Yeah, we could we could very much see a run now. And yes, for sure, we've got a bunch set now. As Harding comes under center, Chris has the snap, turns. Boy, this play is busted up oh, from the beginning, and Harding is gonna is gonna make the play on his own. My goodness! Well, that play was a disaster. And Quentin Harding, just in sheer will, got them the first down and a couple extra yards. I think he just carried two guys on that knee. Dave, I think he's ready to run the ball. He looks pretty healthy, doesn't he? Yeah, definitely has the strength. He's not doubting it. My goodness. But the line had a lot of holes there. They were through on him. They were hitting the quarterback when he was trying to turn. So first and 10, out on their own 48 now. Here is the snap, the turn, and boy, we got a flag and a stoppage again. This one's going to, this one's going to go against Schnute, a procedure penalty. Now, Schnute's had some struggles with penalties this year. And yeah, they're young. That line's not young, no. They, they all played together. First down and 15 upcoming here. A beautiful night tonight. Full crowd, full stands. Pretty decent traveling crowd across the way from Coffeeville as well, as they're excited about their season at four and two, I'm sure. All right, they line up to do it again here on first down and 15. Here's the snap. Chris Harding back to pass. Blitz. Here comes the rush. He's out to his right, scrambling, throws it into the turf. As he gets engulfed back at the 30, incomplete. If you want to call number five a DN, outside linebacker, he was uncovered, and the linebacker blitzed up the middle. So Coffeeville, Field Kinley, has got some. I'm gonna, by the way, I'm going to do that all night. 
I'm going to call them. <laughs> uh, they got a lot of speed out there. Uh, it, normally, Schnute does try to get the quarterback out of the pocket. Is it going to be worth it more to maybe try to keep him in the pocket more? Or how's that going to work? Well, we'll see. Second and 15. So Dup Five's definitely playing a linebacker. They're playing a 3-4-4. Four, four. Oh, Harding with a nice little cut back there and moves it up the middle of the field. A few yards short of the first down, but creates a third short third down play. Third and three. Well, you're seeing the showcasing of the immense talent of Quentin Harding. Um, it's, not, it's not just a... He's going to break tackles. He's strong. It's the vision. It's the balance. These things you can't teach. There's, you know, that handful of talents that you just look for in a running back. And, boy, does he got it in spades. He does have a gift to see in that openings. So third and short, I wouldn't be surprised to see him run the ball here again. Another more movement on the line. This is going to be offsides again. Field Kinley player pleading his case. That's the nose tackle, number 65, Kanan White. But it is encroachment. What do you now? What do you think he was saying there? Uh, you think there's a twitching of the ball, maybe the hand that's, squeezing the he ball? He was trying to say that the center's doing something to call him offsides. But like, look, I don't know the sport that doesn't kind of go by the credo of you ain't if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. <laughs> you got to be walking the line. I'll choose to believe he's being honest. <laughs> First and ten. It's high snap. It's handled, though, and Harding's going to have to just eat it. Well, when the snap goes up, that means the center was trying to leave. Yeah, and they've, that's also been an adventure at times for Schnute this year, is the, the snapping, which they're hardly ever under center. So um, they do it a lot. Maybe that's, you know. He's a high school kid still. You, you snap the ball how many how many times a game? A couple hundred? At least 100. So second down and 15 here. Schnute having a hard time avoiding the early mistakes. And now we're going to get a timeout. Coach is frustrated. Well, Phil Kinley is going to go, go man against us. Be interesting if our line can hold up. We should have somebody open for a good pass. I don't, with the timeout, it could change everything we just looked at. But um, the way the way they were lined up, they were going to go man. Yeah, Coach Frizzell uh, looked a little frustrated there. Yeah, things a little discombobulated. Seven oh one to go here in the first quarter. It's the first drive of the game. Schnute has looked fully capable of moving the ball. They just have had a lot of mistakes here early, and so it's kind of a Jer herky jerky, you shoot, know. Shoot yourself in the foot. Two steps two forward, step. one step back. Two step forward, <laughs> one step back. I'm sure that'll. That's what frustra frustrates most coaches. I yeah. think. When you shoot yourself in the foot. So a second down and 15 play here. Okay, so we had. And uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> we had a receiver. Not sure where the line of scrimmage was. Here's Seamster in motion. The fake to him on the jet sweep, and now an unchecked defender came running in. and um, That was definitely a missed play. And so the struggle continues here for the Blue Comets as they've kind of stalled out here at midfield, just past midfield. If that was going to be a screen, the line for, lineman forgot to go out in front of him. Third it, and long. If it wasn't a screen, they left. Yeah, they left Quentin out there to so, die when he caught it. So what's the frustration play call here? Is it the draw? Is it just a straight run play on third and long? Oh, for sure. You're going to get what you can get. And put it in his feet and say, get it. This is definitely two down territory. Or a quarterback draw. Wouldn't be surprised to see that here either. And Quentin Block. They're showing blitz. He's going to oh, wag on out to the right. He is back to pass. Now lets one go. And that's all. caught. Wow, the defender went for the pick and couldn't get there in time, and Chris Harding had some zip on that ball. Nice line. On the wheel, he was on the run. That's well, the a nice defender, play. The defender had a beat on this, so let's look at this. Let's look at this throw. He throws on the go. Caught by Elliott Steven. That's good concentration. Great catch. That's not an easy fight. catch. No, great job by Elliott. Mm. So first down and 10 on a. Well, the defense took his chance. He said he thought he had it. I thought he had it. And it looked like he had it. 
we had a different angle, it might have been a just. So down to the 27 of Field Kinley now. That was Here's the snap and the give to Quentin, and he's got a head of steam up the middle, and he's still going. Still going. I don't know. I, when do you call that pushing a stop in high school? That's when I don't a lot know. of danger starts well, to happen to yeah. me. And it's not, I'm all right. The pros do what they want. They get paid. They're making money. If you want to push a quarterback or push him from the back, but if I'm it not stops, a fan. we got to stop. That used to be illegal. I agree. It used to be I illegal. Agree. I don't like it, it at all. Yeah. I think it blows up a lot of knees. Mm. But it's just a know, lot of chance to get hurt is all I'm saying. Is the tush push and the, the brotherly <laughs> shove and all that. Yeah, I don't like that at all. I, I wish they'd go back to – uh, the with a lineman pushing him is illegal, and don't do that. Oh. Second down and five upcoming. Snap and Harding back to pass again. He's looking deep in the end zone. He's got a man. It's Seamster and couldn't come up with it. Well, Chris maybe Safety threw it a touch late. Man, yeah. yep. Safety was there right in his face and had his hand on the ball. Yeah, he had a couple steps on the defender. Yeah, if it got thrown a step earlier. We're having to keep Quentin inside. It's um, for blocking purposes. He's not going out to the flats. Yeah, third down and we'll call a long four. This is, I'm, I'm almost positive this is a run play here. This is probably two down territory. For sure, Coach. Went. It's a windy night, so I don't think we'll see the field goal unit. Here's the turn, the give to Quentin. Quentin is wrapped up immediately, though, that's and a, it'll lose a couple yards. That's a nose tackle in the outside linebacker. A big play right there by Field Kinley to make this a fourth and long. We're having a, we're having a hard time with the nose tackle. And that's how the 3-4 or 3-3 three, three, three works. Yeah, Our line's going to have to come together. Big Kane and White in there again. Senior line or lineman at 277. Well, you know Coach Cleet will pull his linemen together and figure out what's going on. So fourth down, big play here on the first drive of the game. Schnutz taking an awful lot of the first quarter here. Fourth and seven. Here's the man in motion. Chris Harding has it. He's back to pass. He's looking, looking. Now flushed out. He's got a lot of room on the oh, right it's side. Clear all the way. 20, 10, and out of bounds. That was a draw. That's an over pursuing defense. That was a good call by Coach. Yeah, as soon as he took off, you just knew that that was a first down. There was no one over there. The only person was his DN. Once he was there, all the linemen, all the linebackers had fl flown their position. Mm, that's just when it's unfair to the defense. You got a kid. You got a kid. No, 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 no. I mean that in, in Chris Harding, you got a kid who can throw the ball. He's so got a cannon, <laughs> and yet he can also move like that. Yeah, but their outside backer should have stayed home. But glad we beat him. First down and goal from the 10. Chris Harding to Quentin Harding, following a blocker, cuts it back up the middle, and then he's stuffed after a gain of a couple. Came up hard. Yeah, Field Kinley's defense. They're, they're coming. I mean, they're Aside. starting to rotate a lot because yeah, after those after those first couple runs, especially, right. they've they've toughened up a little bit. So second and goal. They definitely they're they're a lot stronger than they were the last few years. Um, did they not? They got a new coach, didn't they? The, the, I have no idea. Year? I think they did. Deontay Wade is the head coach of Field Kinley. No, nah, this thing, coach. Sorry. Second and goal now from the eight. Two receivers to the near side. Here's the turn, the give to Quentin Harding again. Shakes off a tackler, and he carries the last one across the end zone. That's an eight-yard touchdown run for Quentin Harding. The big Q. There's the dance. I call him Nyquil. <laughs> yeah. The big Q because he's putting your game to sleep. <laughs> one yard at a time. So 3.31 to go. That's an amazing first drive. All, even with all the mistakes, it was kind of herky-jerky. But it ends in six, and so you can't complain. And they ate up a lot of the clock. Here is the extra point. It's up, and it is good. End of the wind, end of the wind, and that had plenty of strength. Schnoot leads 7 nothing on the first drive of the game. Takes more than half of the first quarter. We're going to take a break. You're watching Commavision. We'll be right back.
it up. We got some main SEK League football for you tonight. He's been All right, we're back out. All summer long. All right. <laughs> So Field Kinley will finally get their first possession of the game with 3.31 to go here in the first quarter. A monstrous first drive for the Blue Comets. We're still on one right now. coming up to give it to Boot. It's Pooch kick. This is going to land. It's going to hit turf. Oh, boy. Got lucky with a nice little hop to the up man. Boy, you always you see, that, you see those up mans kind of hesitate on those pooch kits, and you're like, oh, this could get interesting. But uh, luckily for Field Kinley, it took a nice little hop right to him. That was a perfect little pooch kick into that hole they had open. Uh, it seemed mm -hmm. like we'd, they must have took us on. Their front five must have got us. So first down and 10 for the NATO from their own 38-yard line. We do our best for the Coffeeville fans watching to get these names going for you. We'll see how Schnute's defense is going to stand up. We got Cade Small on the far side. You no, know Aaron Tunstall is the running back. He gets the carry first, and you see the speed right away as he's got a big gain on first down. Gain of seven. How he bounces. Your quarterback is... Number 18, Earn. Axel Earn. I don't have any. I didn't get his stats. Program says he's five foot six, but he looks taller than that. Here's the turn. So they the give to Tunstall. Tunstall cuts it up. Now, ooh, nice little juke move, but the defender got enough of him, but it's still going to be a first down. Yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of moving there. That tackle pulling 71. That's a heck of an athlete. For those of you guys at home that saw that, <laughs> great play by the linebacker, dude. Yeah, Schnuch's defense going to have their hands full, uh, and they're going to see a lot of that. They're going to see a lot of Aaron, Aaron Tunstall. It's too good to see some teams starting to toughen up. Here's Earn waiting the snap. The same formation that Schnuch runs a lot out there. Now the turn, the give to Tunstall to his left, cuts it up field, and this time the Schnute defense holds him to about five. Good good play by a linebacker. We need to stop him. Tunstall, one of the better junior running backs in the state. Not a big guy, 5'10", 164 pounds. That's Cash. He's leading. The, he, Cash leads the team in tackles with uh, 6.7 tackles a game. Second down and five as Field Kinley moving the ball right down the field. Two Kate. running backs on either side are earned. Cade Small's going to have to use his speed tonight. Oh, a little quick out play pass there is incomplete. Well, they tried to kind of uh, keep the defense honest there a little bit, but Earn couldn't find his receiver. And the receiver looked up and s to see what Stevenson was doing, and the ball was a, he turned back around. The ball was there. Yeah, that's uh, when those wide receiver screens happen, you lead the receiver out a little too much. It make the receiver nervous. <laughs> exactly. You're leaving me to lunch <laughs> for the wrong way. Like, I don't blame them. <laughs> Going to get their head taken off. It's a Friday night, man. Nobody <laughs> wants a concussion. Third down and five. Earn awaits the snap. He turns. Boy, it's a high snap. He gives a Tunstall, and Tunstall gets away from that first tackler and now has some room. And gets Just got down. forced out of bounds. Well, it's a good thing that there was they forced him out just enough. Otherwise, he's going to go down the sideline. Again, you see the speed. And that's where he's made his yards all year. He breaks through, gets to the outside, and the safety don't get him. So first and 10 down to the shoot 35-yard line. This time, two receivers to the near side for the NATO. Here's the give to Tunstall. So he'll try to break it out wide to the right, and some defenders stayed home there, and that was good. And but he still gets gain of about six. It's hard. They're coming across so far, and the the corners are playing back, so they don't get beat. Mm -hmm. They come and they get off their block. They made a good play. They get a tackle, but he gets six yards. Now, when does the threat of the pass go away, though? 
when do you start bringing those cornerbacks up? I mean, well, is we there? Should, they don't have much of a threat in our his, their history of what they've shown. So I think we're playing man to man, and we're keeping our linebackers focused on the running back. Second down and four. Earn gives to a new running back in the game, and he's more looks like more of an inside runner. He gains about three. That was number 22, Deontay Galindo. He's a junior as well, 5'10", 151 pounds. They still pulled so he's smaller. They pulled the right side of the line. They bring up third and one with 25 seconds and counting on the clock, and it looks like that might have been the last play of the first quarter. Well, that first quarter just roared by. That's and yeah, they don't they don't look interested in running another play here. Both teams will Yep, that is it. There's the buzzer. That's the end of the first quarter. We haven't even completed the first full sets of possessions for I, either team. But it's Schnute seven and Field Kinley zero, but driving will be back right after this. At Bridgewood Cabinetry, we believe in the power of transformation. Formerly known as Hilo Industries, our journey began right here in Chanute in 1974, where this community has been our heart and soul. We stand tall as a proud member and supporter of the Chanute community. Our success is a testament to the unwavering support of the people and businesses who live and work alongside us. Bridgewood is recognized as a technological leader in the wood products manufacturing industry, pushing boundaries every day. We are a family employing 275 dedicated individuals from Chanute and the surrounding areas, working together towards a common goal. Bridgewood provides high quality cabinetry with cutting edge style to over 500 kitchen and bath cabinet design studios in 48 states. This is where community and craftsmanship unite. Join us in creating spaces where memories are born and families come together. Here is the first play from scrimmage on third and short of the second quarter, and uh, it's an easy first down for Field Kinley. It's, it's a changed team from, from what we, we announced last year. Their, their linemen made it out to our safety to block him. He yeah, they look blocked, but they're they're a lot more. They look confident. a lot more fundamental. They look yeah. Yes, they look, it's a different team. Well, confidence does a lot too. I agree. And but, if I remember right, they were pretty young last year. You got guys with another year under their belt. This one's a tougher sledding for the running back there. That was number twenty-two back in the game, Deontay Galindo. Good D there. He was met by Quentin Harding. From his linebacker spot. It's so good to see Quentin back, in. back out there at full speed. A big number 71 out there for Field Kinley Keaton Jones, 6'4, 321, 321 pound junior. Yeah, he's a big kid. He's big kid. He's fast moving, too. He's got some speed. Yeah, they got size and speed. He's been working with some college players or. Second down and nine. Earn gives the Tunstall to the right, trying to beat the defense the outside. Nice. Now cuts it up, and the defense was there. Great play, mate. Held him to another short gain. So that time the defense of That had to, that had to be small, stretching that. Yep, number nine. Sorry. So Cade, small on the pursuit, forced him to try and cut it back up. He got a maybe back to the line of scrimmage. That's a great play for that running back. Yeah, then you wonder how many times you're going to be able to do that tonight. Keep him to no gain. Actually, actually, Tater came up and made the hit on him. Third down and nine, and this is a huge play. Will they let Earn put it in the air? No, they give it to the running back, and he's straight up the middle and has a decent gain, but that's still going to set up a fourth down and five or so. Well, they ran that one straight up the middle. Yeah, you Coach knows they're going to run again, so. Probably, that's actually a smart play call. You know you're going to get two plays. You run it to the outside. You are risking, even though you've been running to the outside pretty well, but run up the middle guarantees you're at least going to get a couple yards probably. You don't want to get caught behind the line of scrimmage. we got to be awake. No trickery plays here, but we got to stop the run right up the middle. Big.
big fourth down and five here early in the second quarter on Field Kinley's first possession. He's coming across in motion. Here's the snap. They'll let Earn throw it. At least it looks that way initially. Now he turns it upfield. The pursuit is there, and they hit him and stop him, and that'll be a turnover on downs. Great read by Quentin Harney. Uh, Stevenson got didn't go with his guys, so we were in zone. So Quentin sitting there in the flats, or Stevenson sitting in the flats, and Harding read that come from the middle. Well, what a play by the Schnute defense, and they put it in the on the feet of. Axel Earn, or was that a pass? Was that an option for him, or was that a run all the way? I think it was going to be a pass. You think it was going to be a pass, and he just made a decision? Yeah. It was too open. He looked too open for him, but the speed shut him out because he's looking. Yeah, he's looking downfield. Yeah. And then he's like, oh. what a play by Quentin Harding. So first and ten now, Blue Comets with their second possession of the game. Our line's tight, tight, yeah, tight. Yeah, bunch formation. The turn, the give to Quentin. Huge hole on the left side. He gets tripped up and out near the 20. Had Cade got, he did the right. He pushed him to the outside. If we could have just turned him to the inside, it, we have the whole open field gone. Man, you are seeing two really, really good running backs tonight. What a treat. Second down and three for Chanute. Three wide receivers and got a guy kind of in the slot there. They're both the snap, give to Quinton, and there's a lot of traffic over there. He's still on his feet and carrying guys close to the first down marker. They're both only juniors, so we get to see him another year. Well, Field Kinley maybe maybe set up their defense, guessed right to call a play. Call a play on the outside of the Balance it over to the right there. There was a lot of traffic. You never know if he's trying to bounce it because the hole got shut down inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because he just goes where the, if the hole's shut down on the inside, he starts to bounce it. You know, it's like when I go to the, the buffet and someone's getting the thing I want. You just move on <laughs> to the next spot. Right? You get something different. Then you go back. <laughs> Instead of holding up the line. <laughs> it's like, you know, there's always room on the plate. First and ten, Chanute. Snap. Ooh. Chris Harding back to pass. Has a man out in the, the flats. And Stevenson. that was Elliot Stevenson. And you're going to get a maybe a yard. That had to happen so fast. He didn't get to get upfield. Actually, Smalls. Sorry. Small. Oh, was that catch. Kate Small? Yep. They, man, the defense. That field Kinley's defense is fast. Well, there's two of them coming in on the quarterback because Cade had to let his guy go to get out. I've been impressed, though. That was a good I'm impressed play. with the pursuit. That was a great play by Chris Harding getting it out of his hand. Good pass. Because there was two guys coming into space. Second down, nine. As we're about to go under seven minutes here in the first half already. Here's the snap. The give to Quentin. Quentin's up the middle and got a first down. Go close to the first down. I, boy, I thought he was going to get it, and he someone got a hold of his ankles. Outside linebacker, number five. Oh, that was a running back. Safety come up and bank play eight. That is going to bring up about third and half a yard. Look at that. Oh, man, that dance back inside. We're really dancing with the stars now, man. <laughs> it's just so he's pretty. Just it's pretty to watch him run. Twice he's been one step from making it. Bunch formation returns here on third and one. Oh, there was movement on the line. That's going to send him back. Well, that's a bad mistake. That just makes a short, yep, easy call. Now we got. Now they're not. They're not in the area of the field where they would go for it on fourth down here. So this sets up a third and six now. That'll be a little bit more interesting. It's like, like Landon moved a little bit early, although I saw the quarterback kind of lean forward as well. We got a timeout. Field Kinley. We'll take it with them. Shoot leads seven zero. We'll be right back. You're watching Coffee. The Fire Escape Coffee House is dedicated to high school and college students. Our mission is for every student in Southeast Kansas to know they have value, they are loved, and that they have a place. 
We are not a church, but we are motivated by the love God has for all of us. The Firescape opened in 1998 and is open every Friday and Saturday night for high school and college-age students. During the week, the Firescape is open to the public Tuesday through Friday mornings for coffee, catch-ups, or small groups like Bible studies. The Firescape Coffee House is proud to partner with the Schnute High School Tech Classes on this broadcast. Cut. Beautiful. Okay, let's go again. Tell me about your vision. Uh, At the end of the day, it's your classic coming of age story. Can I need more shipping labels? All the gig speed, fiber fueled internet you need to take whatever and make it big. Sparklight Internet, a stronger connection. Third down and six. Important play here in the second quarter. Shoot leading seven nothing. But don't want to give this ball back to Field Kinley right here. Now the fake on the handoff. He gets it out to a receiver. Receiver's got some work left to do, and he gets past he gets the first it. down stick. That's a great play by Cade Small. He's been playing D, playing O. Well, Cade Small is kind of like if, if Ty Leedy was the bulldog last year. Cade kind of he inherits the role of the bulldog of the team now, playing linebacker and occasionally getting them that ball on offense. He's not he's not the first or second or third option. But when you give him the ball, you get plays like that. All right, he's going to continue to bull. So first down and 10, a new set of downs for the Blue Comets. To be getting almost seven individual tackles a game, that's saying something. Another flag hits the field. Well, we got called for moving somebody. More laundry on the field so far tonight than in my son's bedroom. <laughs> And he's starting to be a teenager, so that's building up. <laughs> you got to stop it, though, man. Come on now. Pick up your clothes. <laughs> so first down and 15 again is, uh, <laughs> I'm assuming, in halftime this will be a topic of discussion. The little uh, two-step forward, one-step back game that she's playing. Two receivers here to the near side, one on the far side. Here's the snap to give to Quentin Harding, who barely had time to get the handoff See, before. That's, now that's why you understand why they're jumping, Dave. It, 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 when the guy that's playing both ways is through the line before, we got to change. We can't change the cadence because we're jumping. Yeah. But he knows that we're okay, going to so, go on one, and he's through. Right. So we're having problems with our own cadence. Yep. So we're, we're, we're getting repetitive. Yeah, and so they we pulled the guard there, and they, he just called the snap right, and Olé. there's no one there to be able to pick him up in time, and you can't get the handoff in time. Usually that causes a fumble. We're lucky there there was no fumble. Big play by Kane and White. Boy, he's been impressive here in the first half. Here's second down along. Chris Harding back to pass. He's got great protection now, a lot of room. He's got room to the outside, and he's going to get the first down and more. Oh, he's finally drug out. The 50-yard line, so well, you see great some effort, frustration from Co Field Kinley's coaches on the far side. And it's like we said, it's almost not fair. You, you got a guy, you got to respect the arm. You got to respect the receiver, Caden Seamster. And then uh, he just uses his legs. There's too much room out there, coach. And they did a good job on the inside making him a pocket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, yeah. The protection was I great. Mean, otherwise, we wouldn't have been there. But great run by Chris. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's prop up the line there too. The line did a, did a great job. job. They... First and ten from midfield now, Field. and the drive continues. Field Kinley didn't send their outside backer. He went with the receiver. And here's the give to Quentin, and Quentin is Ooh, a helmet's off. Gang tackled. He'll yeah. have to leave the field. Field Kinley. Oh, oh. He has to leave the field for a game. Well, he looked a little shaky there, but I think he's okay. I'm big number 65. <laughs> That was Kane and White yeah, that's again. A, that's the old boy been coming through the line. <laughs> Do you see that hair? You take I, take a couple breaks, 65. He's my new favorite opposing player. <laughs> I like him. He's big hair. <laughs> oh, he just he just looks like that's a nose tackle, helmet. doesn't he? Yeah, he does. <laughs> he lost his helmet in there and he was where my helmet. Still playing. <laughs> so he has to come off. When the helmet comes off, he has to go off. Yep. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Second down and ten. See what Schnute dials up here. 
Harding gives to Harden. Quinton spins his way up the middle, bowls over another defender. Gain of six. You can. Oh man, you're gonna see all this, all the tools right here. First, the vision. Find the hole, cut back, then the balance, the spin, and the running over of a defender. And keep leaning forward. Whew. Keep leaning forward. Like, look, this young man can stay healthy. Exactly. He is a, a, a high-level talent at running back. He's got tools that you just can't teach. Oh, I'm sure there's eyes watching. Third down and four. Long four. Probably two down territory. Kinley, Field Kinley showing blitz, and there's a slant. Ooh. And Caden couldn't come Man, up with that it. was a nice pass. Yeah, it hit him. Chris, hit. And that, he rifled that ball. Yeah, he threw a bullet. Yeah, I mean, it, that was coming out yeah, of the gun. That, that was hot. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say anything because I wouldn't have caught it. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Steam, Seamster, give it to him. He's, if it hits our hands, we're supposed to catch it. But that sucker was coming. Well, we just gushed over Quentin Harding. What you saw there was the tools of Chris Harding, the second – Man, and that kid a, has a good solid that's arm. That's a sophomore throwing there. That's that's an awesome thing to be building on. Meanwhile, it is fourth down and four, and we know he's got wheels. And for Field Kinley, kind of a big play. Shanute has really eaten up a lot of this first half. So much so that, oh man, we got another timeout for Shanute here. I don't think they're gonna get that playoff in time. We'll keep it right here. This is a big play for Field Kinley. They've they have only had the ball once. We got 247 left to go in the first half. And they've had the ball one time. Their defense has been on the field for most of it. And, and that starts to wear them down. I mean, so since 4A, we see a lot of going both ways on a lot of teams. Mm -hmm. It starts to wear you down. Yeah. And they would hope to be on wearing our defense down instead of what's been happening in this game. So a lot of their good guys are getting tired on the wrong side of the ball, which is good for us. Well, and if this, you know, like, listen, if this kind of pattern keeps going on, boy, every possession at a premium now. This is why those mistakes by Chanute, this is why Coach Frizzell is getting frustrated. He's like, listen, there's not going to be a lot of possessions right. this game. you got to stop. we got to stop making mistakes. Every one of them makes it matters. So pretty, pretty big play here on fourth down and four. Field Kinley would get the ball first coming out of halftime. Yeah, so scoring. Yeah, so the getting last, the ball back here would be good for them. The last four minutes of the, the first, last two minutes of the first half, first two minutes of the second half are a big deal. They well, say they, it's eight. Well, they don't stop them here. They're not getting the ball. No, back. exactly. So that's why we need to get this first down so we can score going into half. Fourth down and four. Trips to the far side. Here's the snap, and Harding, boy, he's got a lot of work to do. Now throws, go, oh. just off the fingertips. And that'll be a turnover on downs. That was a good job by Chris Harding to read, come back, reset his feet in the middle, because uh, the outside DN got upfield and turned him back in. He was coming to the, to the stand side. It's hard to reset your – that receiver had it in his hands, too. Well, now things get really interesting as Aaron Tunstall and – the NATO get to come out here and try to put points on the board, and they'll get the second half kickoff. Well, they can't stretch us out, so he, we just got to be good tacklers. We got Landon Billby out there on the edge. Got Quentin in the middle. We'll see if the Schnute defense is up to the task. Cash on our other side. Here's the snap, the give right to Tunstall up the, up the middle, and boy, he's wrapped up quickly. We'll see who that was there. Believe that was Cade Small. Just a monster on defense. Gain of maybe one. Second down to nine. Caden, Caden Morris, 55, was on the bottom of that other tackle also. Well, you haven't seen many inside runs for the NATO. Maybe that's why. Yeah, we've been moving it around pretty good. That center's head's over the ball. Now here's one to the outside for Tunstall. Breaks a tackle, gets some good yardage. He's going to bring up about third and three. We'll get to see it one more time here, Dave. Watch how far the center either has a very short arm or he keeps the ball very close to his body. Watch right. this. Hurry up offense here. Is their backup quickly? 
Here's the snap. Give to Tunstall again, and he turns it up the middle, and he's Man. wrapped up by the ankles and does get the first down, but it saves everything after that. It should have been a m movement on the line. But so your, your, your insinuation, what you're saying is, is, what's the center doing there? His head's farther than the ball is. It, let me it's see, hard to line he? up with your defense. Okay, I see you. Here's the snap. Boy, now the earn back to pass. Let's one go. And they might have been too far out of bounds. Yep, yeah, incomplete. By about four yards. The catch was made, but couldn't get the feet down. That does stop the clock with 119. If had the quarterback put it in his chest, he might that would have been in his area, but he had to jump. Second down and 10 now. Well, they got to, you, you feel like they do have to let Earn throw the ball here and there just to keep He's the defense got his, on it. They've got to want to stretch us out somewhere. Because it's running back camp beats eight guys in the box. Uh, watch the weak side of the field. Watch the short side. Our linebacker has to, to stay earn. home. They give it to the strong side. Here comes Tunstall. Boy, the crowd calling for a hold. He bounces off a couple tackles and shoved out of bounds inside the 40. I got to say, uh, linebackers and safeties, we have to start hitting him at the waist to his knees. Can't go around. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're just uh, I mean, coming and putting the shoulder in. 900 yards in six, six mm -hmm. games. You got to take his thigh pad out. So a timeout here on the field for uh, the NATO. They're looking at third and four on the Schnute 38, and they're going to have one timeout left after this. So it's hard to call them different names. They got Coffeeville across their jersey. <laughs> yeah, what, what's it going to be here? Is it Coffeeville or Field Kinley? You decide. <laughs> you can put it on your jersey. So, Dave. We know we're getting eight. We're going to get a dose of eight right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is You're it outside? Get Is it well, inside? Well, I would think it has to be outside. You got it four yards? This yeah, it's third down. You're, you're well, okay. Is, are they Here's the problem. 70, are they going to pull 71 and go for the outside, cut him up if you get it open? Here's the problem now. You only got one timeout left. So you run running up the middle, but you're going you're gonna to burn Guaranteed. 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. And either like, way, either that way. wouldn't be a no, that normally that wouldn't be a problem for where you're at if you if you passed, but they don't pass, and then you're risking not having enough time to get it down the rest of the field. So I think we need. Wish our corners were a little tighter. Here's the snap. Earn will pass. It's just quick a little pass. quick out. Uh, defenders were giving them a lot of space, but they bring him down in bounds. That's going to be they're going to have to use but their they, last time out. Giving him a, they gave him they gave him two yards past the first down. Then the clock stops on the first down, but they're going to wind that clock. I don't know why our corners were so deep. I know we don't want to give a touchdown, but. Field Kinley on the ball quickly to try and it, but they're still losing time. They lost about seven, eight seconds there. Earn back to pass again. Let's one go. A wobbler in the air over the head of the receiver. And that'll stop the clock, but bring up second down and 10. The winds, he's, the quarterback's throwing into the wind there. Had he led his guy. That was scary. Yeah, that was. Boy, he that, threw it out where he couldn't find it. <laughs> it was I mean, it was wobbly, though. Back, right? Yeah, I hear you. He's thrown straight into the wind. Yeah, it's, it's really windy out there. Yeah. Second down and 10 upcoming here. We know Stevenson's got the wheels. Well, and they're giving him a lot of room because they're, you know, they're daring they the quarterback exactly, to throw the ball. They don't want, it, don't want you to. Trips to the far side for Earn. Here's the snap. He's going to back to pass again. Here comes the rush. He oh, just he has, paid for it. He just had to let it go. Oh, my, Great. did he get drilled Great by Cade Small. Small. That, there was nothing illegal about it. He didn't drive him to the dirt, but he Oof. ran through him. It was a great hit. Yeah, I just, man, you got to put, you got to mark him somehow, some way. <laughs> right. You well, waggled your quarterback right to his side. It's, it's oh. awesome that he got to work next to Dagan Dean last year. Mm -hmm. Being a sophomore, starting on a varsity team. 39 seconds, and this is a big third down and 10. Uh, they have one timeout left. I'd expect this to be a run. It is a run. Here's Tunstall trying to, oh, he lost his footing, and man, but now they're, they're in big, now they've got a big question mark. Probably got to take a timeout here. 
We had oh. three linebackers, two defensive linemen, and our corner coming for him. So we were ready for the run. Yeah, that was the worst thing that could have happened. Tunstall lost his footing, went down, no gain, and that brings up fourth down, 26 seconds to go. I mean, you you can still do whatever you want here. It's probably not enough time. Schnutz only got one timeout. They probably can't do anything with it um, regardless. I think it would be smart to go all, if you can, with your line, go for the end zone. What's it hurt? It, you're going to punt. Yeah, just throw I one mean, up? Throw one up. Yeah. It's. I mean, the only – there is one t well, okay. a return to the end well, zone. All right. I, mean, I was going to say that. Now, you better give him some time, though. I was going to say. You bring in those a couple of those linebackers and a fumble happens or something, and you could be looking at the 14-0 14 14 instead of 7-0. And this is only the second time you got the ball? So this is gonna be this will be an interesting play call. I'd have to try to go for the end zone if I was the other coach. Yeah. The, the, the card player call is throw one up. You have to. The safe call. The, the Bill Belichick, if you will. Just take it to the, the Bill Parcells take is, is just run the ball. Give the just ball to Tunstall. Give it to Tunstall. If he breaks it, he gets it. Now we're going to punt it. Yeah. Uh, that's I, the even, I, I would believe that's this. That's the like, Andy Reid. I wouldn't believe this. <laughs> you don't think he's going to really punt it? He's going to shift like Andy Reid did last night and or yesterday and go back into the Braden Gilfillian is the punter. And we got another timeout this time from Chanute because they 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 were just as surprised that, as we were. That kicker would have kicked it through the end zone. <laughs> yeah, and we he, had to give him the ball on the twenty. So why not go for it? He's a big guy. I'm not gonna you know challenge him to a wrestling match. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what they do. That was an interesting that was an interesting maneuver to come out there in the punt. The Chanute was confused. They're like, oh, okay, maybe we need a timeout. <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now. I think he had it right. I think. He called Andy Reid. They were going to shift on us and try to get that. Remember when Fridge got the touchdown for the Bears to win the Super Bowl back in '85? Of course. Well, they, like, they were going to run the big There will be no the William Perry slander here. <laughs> he was getting it up the middle. You, see, That's you, how I was you say thought the that punter was, was going to happen? They gonna, were going to shift. Now right. they still need 10 yards here, or 12 yeah. yards. You really think down. they're going to punt it on the 35-yard line? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I, don't see, I don't see a fake coming here. I don't understand. I bet you they do. I bet you they give it to five. I don't see the purpose of punting it. For what it's worth, the Schnutz coach is with you. They've got normal defense. There's no set. purpose in punting it. Oh, that's a false start. Offensive lineman moved. They didn't call it. It is a kick. It's just a little kick. They're kicking it away. And it bounces into the end zone. All right. Why? We, okay. All right. I'll give it to the coach over there. He knows what he's doing. Chad Graham is confused. <laughs> uh, well, I just it's, don't see the purpose. Like, You're oh, down yeah. seven to zero. It's a safe you, call, but you the got ball the ball twice. Okay, but they get the ball coming out. It's safe. It's but not. It's they, not totally unheard of. Well, they're not. Yeah, I understand, but they didn't have very many yards going in two. They yeah. didn't have a good uh, yeah, drive. Yeah, I think right what now. you're saying is, no matter what, you ain't gaining much here. They gained about what, 13 yards exactly. of real position. I yeah, mean, a, a, an interception without it returning for a touchdown was a better play. Yeah. But I'm not the Coffeeville coach, it and is, I'm not rooting for him. It so. is definitely the ultra conservative call. Yes, yeah, sir. But. And like you say, hey, they're playing a way better game than they have been. Yeah, if nothing happens here, it's 7 nothing, and you get the ball. Well, you th think Coach Frizzell don't give it to 35 wanting him to bust it? Oh, yeah, this is definitely going to 35. That's 34, Quentin Hart. sorry. 34. And, boy, he's, he he's got some room out to the outside as they were in a prevent defense spinning around and oh, he's still, still going. on his feet. Still Barry on Sanders his feet. Still, going. still dragging the entire hey, NATO team and Schnoot. That's clock will stop here on the first down. Now they hustle back. They're going to wind the clock, and I would expect them to just kind of clock this ball. There's the clock wind, the snap, and he clocks it. So down to three seconds. Boy, four seconds went off the clock, really? No way. All right. But we got to think of. Incomplete pass. A play clock is running now. We don't got any timeouts. Time, we're out of timeouts. So second and ten, and we let's see what the play call is here. Well, you have to almost go for a pass. I mean, hey, do you? Delay draw. No, you don't yeah. have to go for a pass. It would have to be on going out of bounds if you want to do anything. The, 
It is Harding back to pass, and he lets one go. And Stevenson has his man beat. Oh, my goodness. That was a lot closer than it should have been. See, that was great play, and that's what I'm talking about. Coach Frizzell said we're going to do it. I'm going to trust my boys. And I think I think the defender got just he enough got a piece of a of hand piece. Before, yeah. before he hit it with his hands. That wasn't on Stevenson. Coach Frizzell believed in his kids. That's what I'm saying the other coach didn't do when he's yeah. played the safe call. As let's, you called it. Let's take a look at that on the replay here. Car well, first of all, Chris Harding was running out of time quick and gets one up there. Oh, he didn't get a piece of that. That was there. Right through his hands. Oh, boy. That's a tough one right there. He'll be thinking about that one and <laughs> in we, the locker room. We know, we know Stevenson. he would be eating that one in his brain. Yeah. Yep. All right. Halftime is here. Chanute leads 7-0. to zero. It's a barn burner. It's definitely been what we said. It was yeah, be oh a my running goodness. war, and we one of the quickest halves of the year. Boy, that clock was just a moving. Stay tuned. We got a performance by the uh, the marching band coming up. The cheerleaders coming up. So stay with us and. Uh, Good evening and welcome to Royster Marching Band's Halftime Entertainment. Royster Marching Band is on the direction of Dr. A.J. Pugh, drum major Zoe, Joe Novotny, and the drum captain Jordan Patterson. This performance will feature the Scooby-Doo theme and the classic Go Big Red. Drum major, the field is yours. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready for some more excitement here. The group just across the way on the prize of the two high school drum line under the leadership of senior Noah Vogel and the CES Rutgers Brigade under the direction of Ms. Mindy Burnett. And Mr. Ethan Bush, second brigade, the field is yours.
and Corey Stewart. Thank you, ladies. Now, Coach Garland has a blue comet. The Dash of the Community National Bank. If you will focus your attention, I don't know, Coach, we're going to the north or the south end zone. We have three kickers tonight. Mark Davidson, Blaze Sanders, and the Cameron Nash. Are you out? Looks like we got a north wind behind us. Dan Snillfeld and Community National Bank. Better dig deep in their pockets tonight. Get that lead out because we're going to have some winners. Well, they nailed the music. There we go. Get behind the blue comet. Nato fans, we want to kick it through. First time. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> oh. Mark Davidson just a little low. Didn't get that locked into that wind. Ray Sanders studies the trajectory. Wind speed. Take a deep breath. And here we go. Tennessee, Blaze. Stanley, we're counting on you. Get her on. Get behind her. Right on, Stanley. Mark Davidson. Uh, boom! Play a high. Oh, yes. Short of the distance. Good kick. All right, Blaze. Look out, man. You put it through the upright. October is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and at this time, we would like to ask all who have filled out breast cancer on a reform to please stand. If you filled out that breast cancer on a reform, please stand. Early detection tries to detect cancer as soon as possible and has been able to help many men and women with their battles. Let us recognize those who have fought or still fighting all right welcome back wanted to go over some halftime scores for you while we're waiting here for the second half half of football looking for uh, relevant scores for the area we've got uh oscaloosa's beating mcleod nine to six at the half fort scott beating spring hill 14 13 that's a big game and they're fights. They're fighting. Yeah, Spring Hill's got a great team this year. Looks like uh, Wellsville over Santa Fe Trail at the half, 29 to zero. Rose Hill over Bueller, 12 to seven at the half. McPherson over Mulvane. That Mulvane team uh, is one of the teams that beat Field Kinley this year. Uh, McPherson only beating them 14 to 10 at the half. McPherson's power uh, yearly. 
It's Andale over Cheney, 22 to six at the half. Parsons and Frontenac are scoreless at the half. Surprising. We got uh, Wamigo beating Clearwater, 28 nothing. I don't know where Wamigo's at. You know where that's at? Is that close? No? No. Don't know. Conway Springs, if you need them. They're up 15 nothing over Inman, the half. Independence is beating Lebec County 10 to six at halftime. That's an SEK battle. It's, it's interesting to see. They must be having the wind in a different direction because that one game you announced was all field goals in 96. Mm -hmm. That one, 10-3, that's, that's a touch. Uh, that's really the only, uh, that's the only scores they've got updated for the half right now. Looks like there's a battle of rivalry in Lawrence. Lawrence High is playing uh, Free State High School tonight. And Lawrence, that was always a big game there. So the town's alive in Lawrence? That's, yeah, yes. Uh, Free State's got a great young quarterback there. I've watched, I watched some highlights of him. He's a great young player. That's Being about it. Being into the big city, they all five five wide, no running mm -hmm. backs. Tonganoxie, who beat uh, Chanute earlier this year, they're up 14-7 to on Eudora at halftime. So Tongi's got a pretty good team. Iola's beating Prairie View 19-12 to at the break. And, yeah, that looks like about all the, all the scores we've got right now. Hutch beating Mays 21-17. to Silver Lake, big-time program in 3A. I think they're 3A. They're up 46 to nothing over Moore Hill at the half. Mm -hmm. Silver Lake's had a great football team for years. And just north of Topeka. All right. It's not much of a game, 46 to zero. Nope. All right. We're ready for second-half action. Field Kinley going to get the ball first here. Um, assess the first half for Field Kinley. I mean, they got to be happy with where they're at, considering. Oh, for sure. Seven that, to go to go into the locker room down seven to zero to Chanute. I mean, Chanute dominated uh, time of possession. Here's the kick. It's a short one, taken at the twenty-eight. He's gonna run across the field, and boy, if he gets some blocking here, he's got some room up ahead. Runs over a man and out to midfield. So good starting position for Field Kinley. Uh, we got a flag, maybe. I was gonna say there should be a, a block farther in the, back. There should be a block in the back against uh, them on Bilby. Bilby was hopefully, if we have a replay on it, you'll see Bilby gets. Yeah, there is right there the running back number eight. Yep, and they are they are scooting back. So. Well, that was a save. That's saving for us to wake us up. Oh, Stevenson must have twisted his ankle or. Oh, yeah, he's limping Charlie off the field. Horse. Something in his ankle, it looks like. Yeah, he looks like he's okay. Wow, I've never seen the sticks move at the same time. Why did the chains move? I don't know. So first and ten for the NATO. Axel Earn. Back in the gun, he gives to the running back who's got some room out to the left. That's a different running back there. Number 41, Jeremy Colbert. He's a senior, five foot Man. six, 153. Quentin had a great read on that. Just like you say, he sees the holes for the running back. He sees the holes for the defense on how to get to the running back. He came from the middle of the field to make that with the gain of three. The NATO have used a few running backs tonight. Stevenson back into the game as uh, Chris Harding was out there for one play. Bilby needs to be ready on the far side of the field. Second down and seven after that gain of three. Here's to give there to Tunstall, and boy, oh, he had to shake a defender, tackle. and he did. Woof. He was going to lose yardage, but a great maneuver there by Tunstall. It's a big game. Small had him in the backfield. Yeah, you're not going to see Kane Small miss many of those. No. But it, His uncle might tell him that you might want to put your shoulder pad on him instead of reach for him. Well, if you're going to miss a guy, it's no, a shame. Guy it's no shame no, that it's going to be oh, agreed. Uh, Aaron Tunstall. <laughs> agreed. Yeah, who's nice. run the ball well tonight. Third and one. That was nice to see. Seems to picking a guy up off the ground, and that's good sportsmanship. 
and it was the opposite team. Earned to give to Tunstall. Tunstall's got a guy wrapped uh. to his backside immediately. That was Cade Small. Who'd you see there? He's like, but he got a yard, and that'll be enough for the first down. Yeah, Cade said, you got me once. I'm making it. Well, the defense, as the first half went on, you saw – some of those lanes to the outside were starting to get covered a little bit better. Now the lanes in the inside, they're starting to move up. You, you can sense the kind of the Chanute defense is starting to, to figure out where what they're doing, and it's going to maybe be tougher, a little tougher sledding for Tunstall well, unless they, they start mixing it up a little more. Well, they don't have a passing game, so it's not. Here's Earn to give to Tunstall again as he picks his way forward and has a couple yards, maybe three. And oh, he bounced off. We're missing our first. We're missing our first tackle. We had him at the line of scrimmage. Well, that was another good run by Tunstall. It's hard to get. I mean, he's a workhorse, so we understand that. Number fifty-five and thirty-four. Quentin Harding had him. Forty-six. Fitzmorris Cash, our leading tackler. So. We know he's workhorse. He's got the leg tree trunk, just like Quentin. So, second down and three. Earn this time back to pass. Let's one go to the receiver. It's off his hands. Well, maybe it was looking, got caught looking where he wanted to go. Yeah, he turned his head too soon. Maybe they had a play to kind of th play around with there. Third and three. You're close to midfield. Although, if they were not going to get this, I wouldn't be surprised to see them punt. Tater is far back for being. Well, it looks like they're bringing their two receivers over here to the near side. We just got to be playing man, everybody playing inside. As deep as Earn we are. The snap to give to Tunstall, who's oh, stopped. Nothing. Boy, they stopped him right at the line. That's going to bring up fourth down and an interesting decision. That was, that was Bilby. And a combination D lineman. Well, what a play by the defense right there. You're going to see Tunstall hit the hole, and that hole was filled by Quentin Harding. My oh, goodness. That was a Harding Bilby combination. So, fourth down, and thus far, looks like Field Kinley's going to line up to go for it. I think that's a mistake this early in the. They're going to try to draw us off sides. Yeah, we'll see a hard count here. And there it goes. Oh, my goodness. Although this could uh, be on pointed, field they, Kinley. He pointed at him. It is a false start. I don't know how. I mean, we pushed him over. Well, the defenders, they seem to know it. They were pointing right away. Yeah. And now the punt unit comes on the field for the NATO. Well, 65 is not punting again, so I wonder why. Well, this is an, uh, it's an interesting turn of, event, turn of events. Chanute's defense with a big stop here. Three and out. That's going to be big. Here's the snap. The punt is, whew, almost, I got close to it, and it's almost. short. It's going to take a Coffeyville bounce, sort of. But Chanute will get the ball here at the 36-yard line. That was a smart play. Stevenson let it his hot, short, get away from it. Yeah. So the Blue Comets will come out with the ball now with a chance to take kind of a firm hold of this game. Maybe getting up two scores in this game is going to feel like it's a lot <laughs> given that uh, your defense just looked pretty good and has, as the game gone on, has done a better job against the running attack of Coffeyville. So with the wind at their back, you think uh, we'll see a little more Harding going to our four receivers with the ball? Well, I you know, they're expecting a run. Right. It, it wouldn't be unlike Coach Frizzell. To throw a little Should bit. Of... Put one up here on first down from near midfield. We got a But shift. we are wrong, and Quentin gets the ball. That was a great play by their defense. Tackling in, stayed home. Fought through a pulling guard and a tailback. Yeah, it bears repeating. Field Kinley's defense has been up to the challenge tonight, too. They've held the Blue Comets to seven points and uh, a pretty potent running back of their own. And they're, they're doing great in this 3-4-4 defense that they're running. Every, it's hard to see. 
we switched from high school four three to a three five. So second down and nine. That's, they gave him a yard. That's what they're in the three five, but Here's the give to Quinton Hardy again. This time he's got some more room. Turns to the field now and makes a nice cut. 50, 45, the foot race is on. And boy, they just held him up just enough on that last. They got a piece of his ankles. And Quinton, the Q, the big Q breaks one. That was a good try by 45, the outside linebacker for. Look at that, this cutback right there. My goodness, that is, that is like, look. I know I'm gushing here, but that is a full speed lateral skip to his left. While continuing going. Oh my south. goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. First and 10 all the way down at the NATO 30 yard line now. Touchdown save by Nice. It'd be nice to go to the end zone for Seamsters play. in motion. He'll get it on the jet sweeps. Got some room to the left side now. Now he's. Running out of bounds, but a big gain on first down. He gets a gain of 10. Well, that's just play design and blocking right there. He Nobody even was close to touching him no. until they forced him out. First and 10 again after that gain of 10. Now you maybe maybe see you kind of see Coffeeville deflate a little bit there on that big run by Quentin. Let's see if they can if we score it'll probably put a light on it for him. Here's Quentin again, and he's got some room up the middle and sliding off tacklers and down inside the 15. Gain of seven. So yeah, just a, a meager gain of seven yards just, just, <laughs> <laughs> for Quinton on that run. As Chris Harding jogs back onto the field with the play. Quinton having a shoe issue, having a teammate retie it for him. They've graciously stopped play for that. It's important. We don't want to get a shoelace tie. Now, how can we add that to Caden's stat line? <laughs> tie this teammate's shoe. Second down and four. Two receivers in the near side, including the aforementioned Caden Seamster. That ball skips back, and Chris Harding's going to tuck it and try to find his way up the field, but there's another one of those snap problems. That was weird. That one kind of sputtered out there to the left. It looked like it hit his leg or... What happened there, Coach? I didn't. He was spinning when it would come across. To, I don't yeah. know if he didn't have good grip, if the ball was slick. Is the ball kind of like? Because it was coming out. Kind of squirt out of your hand sometimes. Yeah, if it's not. I saw he's wearing a glove on one hand, not on the other. I don't know if it's starting to get cold with the humidity. But. So it's third and ten now. We didn't get a replace if it hit his legs. So. Harding. And Harding in the backfield. They switched the firm. The, they switched the defensive front to go to a forefront since half. Chris looking to pass. Has got a man coming across the field. That's Tarter caught. A modest gain. They're on third down. I'll bring up fourth and short. First time to see his name. Yeah, Jace with his first catch. I mean, tonight. he came in for a good hit the other. He was on that other good. How much of it? Uh, how much of it is the wind? that they're passing less? How much of it is Coffeeville's team speed? Uh, do you I think it has a lot to do with both. Yeah, and they definitely got a, they proved to us they had speed last year's, just they were young. We got the field goal unit out on the field. So they're gonna bring out Stevenson to attempt a 31 yarder. Mm -hmm. Got the win. He wants to make sure it's more than the one. Here's the snap, the kick is no, no good. good. No good. So it was, it was close, but no good. And the one score game remains. So we will switch hands here as, the, as his teammates try to keep Elliott to keep his head up there. That's tough, man. That's tough. He hasn't gotten a lot of opportunities other than extra points. Now you come out in a one score game, 31 yarder. And, these are high school kids. That's not a 31 yards. 31 yards, bro. And this wind's blowing at a 
pretty good. It's not just at our back. It's going across, but he didn't get his foot into that. He kicks way farther than that. It did, so he, did, he did miss to the wind side, by the way, the way the wind's blowing. Sometimes practicing when we do pooch kicks and short kicks, it, kicker's got to go with the uh, – be able to change with the play of the week. But it's hard on him when you're trying to teach him to get it to the end zone. I mean, I mean look at the ref's clothes. I mean, wind's blowing yeah, out there. It's roaring. Here's Ern <laughs> waiting the snap now. Turns, gives to Tunstall. Tunstall looking for some room on that right side. Following blockers and has a gain of about five. I have to say Coach Rizal and his defensive team, I don't know how they break down film, but they have done a great job of keeping number eight contained. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I keep kind of expecting them to see, like, when are they going to bust a run up the middle just to keep them honest on just – from the outside, they're getting so much pursuit to that outside now. But all of all of his runs, he comes through the C gap, and then gets the linebacker and cuts to the outside when he's made one against the other teams. I watched him. Second down and five but coming our, up. Our team's using this sideline, stretching the play, so they got their twelfth player always in the game. Here's here's, here's that run middle, up the middle, and he yeah. ran right into a big old pile of mess. And when the ball Bumble. came out, and this may be Schnoot's ball. Ref lost a hat. Ref, other ref says it's Chanute ball, so the ball came out there. That's the marker for the ball. No, no, no. The when, other ref, his hat, he chased the it all the way back to the, the end zone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they got a bag for one, but the hat means yeah. Well, Tunstall run into his own player, yeah, and back. it looked like it kind of threw him off, and it was just enough for Landon Bilby to get his hand in there and rip that ball out. So a huge play there by Landon. And now Chanute in business. That's the first, boy, that's the first real big mistake here in the second half where they just got to stop. And we're going to get that ball back down one score. And on the 27-yard line of their own, it's hard to give a good team that ball that. Yeah, I would expect to see them. Remember the last time I said I wouldn't be surprised to see him throw it? Now I'd be surprised to see him throw it. Right. I think you're going to get a dose of Quentin Harden. Now the bat snap again, and Chris Harden couldn't handle it. My goodness. So the, the, center, the center made sure it wasn't on the ground that time, but it was like that pass that Harding the, the second did in I mean, the first half, it, it that bullet. It wasn't it, exactly on the money, but it didn't look like it should no. have been a problem. No, it was just coming hot. Yeah. Chris Harding had a hard time with it and just had to fall on it. They're fighting the wind. Second down at 11, and it hasn't been a pretty game, and the, the mistakes continue. That'll definitely be a big it, something that they could talk about this week is our mental preparedness. Now you got Cade Small back in the backfield. Here's the give to Quentin. Quentin following Cade. Cade with the block. Quentin busts to the outside and now loses Ugh. his footing. So Quentin was, looked like he was going to get at least a couple more yards out of that and just lost his footing. Been a lot of talk about these. We've had some slip outs, quite turf a few fields slip outs. here since Kelsey for the Chiefs sprained his ankle on him. There's been a I, I've seen more talk about the turf fields. Oh, since your guys is since Kelsey hurt himself? Yeah. Yeah, they've been talking about him for a long time for high school cuz yeah. By the way, They're I'm in nice the to take care of and save a lot of money. Just in case everyone's wondering, I'm in the press box and Taylor Swift's not here. <laughs> Super disappointed. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds isn't here either. Caleb Woods here. And his team. Third down and long here. That snap skips back to Harding again. Let's Great one go, save. and he throws a pick. Threw it right to the defender. Coffeyville got the ball and bumped out of bounds, and, man, that was not good from the beginning. Man, that was a great – Great block by Quentin Harding from the backside to save Chris from getting his lunch eight, but that rush pressure made him. Well, so up. well, let's let's Watch. start from the beginning. A skip. Well, we didn't start from the beginning on the replay. The the snap skips back to him. So he's, he's, so he's a young quarterback, yep. delayed, uh, delayed read, and discombobulated from the beginning. Sees a guy coming free from yeah. the end. Goodness, 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 goodness. 122 left to go here in the third, and Schnute gives the ball right back to Field Kinley. In less than a minute, we've seen a lot of change. And we got a hold on the return. So, yes, it is a first down for 
for the NATO. But there was a hold on the return. Now, uh, the coach is for Schnuder yelling about something. He, the, the official has indicated it's a first down for Coffeeville. And the referees are trying to get this sorted out here. They're going to have to hold the ball. But otherwise, it's going to be in Parsons or Cherryville. <laughs> the wind is really picked up and is blowing hard out there. They are trying to, yes, it is first down. That, that official has signaled it about as many times as years I'm old. <laughs> That's a lot. Of it. I think it's a first down. We got it. That ain't that many times, Dave. He's doing good work out there tonight. The official, the officiating crew. He makes sure you know which direction. Well, he's I'm going. a funny guy, but um, <laughs> I shouldn't joke. They've been doing a great job tonight. Well, they'd like to get a little exercise. They've been pulling a lot of yellow things. <laughs> so first down and ten. As Coffeeville gets the ball back. Trailing 7-0. It's been a ground chuck kind of game. Uh, I think we're key with the change of the possession again. We have to be watching the outside. Here it comes. Earn gives the Tunstall. Boy, oh, that's got to be a hold. Yep, there goes there goes the flags. Well, yeah, the defender and the Tunstall. Poor Tunstall is going to do a lot of running here. Stevenson's going to catch him? No, oh. he didn't, but it doesn't matter. As the play is going to come back, the obvious hold that someone was busting through was going to stop him in the backfield. I'd love to. See, I would have loved to see Stevenson when he got there just dive through him, his legs, and take him out instead of try to reach. Your momentum's going. You're going to get his legs because he worked. He worked his tail end to get across that field. Yeah. That, well, Jump, first of all, Dave. first of all, let's let's. <laughs> Let's Sorry, point out that Elliot Stevenson uh, is a big guy, and you saw his wheels right there. Right. I mean, he worked his tail end to get it across the field. That's called pursuit run, and he did a great job. So you see the promise of Elliot with the speed there. That was a, none of that mattered, by the way. That was a great call because Tater got held. He made a great fight to get off of his receiver and get in there. Well, yeah, and, then, and it was pretty obvious. Yeah. yeah the offensive lineman, just, the guy just brought him down. Yeah. So now, Coffeville even farther backed up. First down and 20. So I'm not so sure that shouldn't be like first down and 22. Right. Because that happened behind <laughs> the line of scrimmage. We should be watch trickery and send some linebackers. Axel Earn sends the man in motion. Now here's the snap. He Filby. gives this time to a different running oh. back. And boy, he's crushed. Absolutely demolished after a that short was game. Hunter Anderson, number. If I read might the number been, right, it might have been. It might have been Caden Seamster. Look at, right? Yeah, it that's was Caden. Seamster, sorry. Boy, just gobbled Pace him up. Pass to the sternum. Jeremy Colbert was the runner on that play. Gain of three. We're under 40 seconds to go here in the third quarter. As it just sounds like you, someone's going to blow away out there. You can hear the wind here in the box. So they're going to try to get what they can. Third and seven. Oh, they show second. Tunstall's not in the backfield here. Earns back to pass. Little quick hitter to number 41. And he's got nowhere to go as he's swamped under. Gain of maybe a yard. Way to come up by Stevenson there. We're giving up so much ground because we're playing man. Mm. Um, that yeah, they just don't want to get beat. No, we don't want to get beat deep, which is a great call, but that was a great way to come up, make a play, way well, to gain one, two yards. Yeah. I, honestly, with this wind, I mean, Axel Earn, with all due respect, has not shown that he's going to be like a, a guy who's going to throw the ball around a lot anyways. No. I mean, <laughs> I would be stunned to see any of these quarterbacks going against the wind put a ball up that's not basically what we just saw. Right. Just Three, a little quick yarders. hitter. Yeah. That is the end of the third quarter. Schnute leads it 7-0 still. Their coach just trying to keep us honest. Oh, okay. Now they're now they're saying putting 12 seconds back on the clock. So 12 seconds. We'll get another play here. Third down and long. 
we'll see the Schnute yeah. defense take sure a few steps back. They're in cover four. Nothing deep over your head. Well, this is most definitely, probably, Tunstall's not in there again. So maybe not. Now they're just going to. They're going to send them back and sit back in that zone. Hopefully we send Bilby. I, I would just, man, I don't know. Are they going to They're gonna put this ball up in the air, we I guess. Go for, we need to send Bilby, send this other backer. They are. No, it's a little trick play. And he is gobbled up behind the line of scrimmage. Hunter Anderson tackled his top. I don't know who had his legs. That was... Number five for Field Kinley, Amani Luton. And boy, that play just was going nowhere. Yeah, I, I just didn't believe they were going to put that ball in the air. And maybe they took Tunstall out and tried to fool Schnute into thinking they were going to throw it, but they did not. That's the end of the third quarter. Schnute leads at 7-0 and looking to get the ball back at the beginning of the fourth. We'll be back. This is Common Vision. Cardinal Drugstore, located at 103 East Main in downtown Chanute, is a small-town pharmacy and gift store which includes an old-fashioned soda fountain. They specialize in compounds and vaccines. They also supply many types of medical items. Cardinal Drugstore is your one-stop shop for all of your health care needs. KFEX and Comet Vision are so grateful for your support. From kickoff to the final lap, from Pee Wee's... To the weekend pros, our team of doctors can help with the diagnosis and treatment of sports-related injuries. Wherever you are in your sports journey, Labette Health Sports Medicine team has the training, experience, and skill to repair, restore, and renew. For more information about Southeast Kansas' leading orthopedic and sports medicine program, go to labettehealth.com. So... Field Kinley lines up to punt here at the beginning of the fourth quarter. And they're facing an uphill battle. The Schnuch defense has been up to the task here in the third quarter. The punt is away. It is Man, a, a low, and that's a, that's a pretty good punt. He has, the, he has the win, but he got it high. Looks like Schnuch will... As the referee, as the official was running forward like that old Price is Right game with the the cliff, the cliff climber, oh, gonna, the cliff, mountain gonna climber. Off it, yeah. And yeah, all was missing was the yodel, he yodel, he yodel, he He just kept on going. It's like, don't, we can't go over. <laughs> can't keep. <going. laughs> Anyways, that, that, price, that, that Price is Right joke is running its course. <laughs> right I'm sorry. I, now I made you lose your entire train of thought. Well, I was going to say, if the kicker had kicked it straight, but, well, with the wind, it was going to go through the – he had quite a bounce. Yeah. Um, that wind is fierce right now. We're going to see a heavy dose of 3-4, bet. Yeah. I, yeah. You're going to <laughs> – going against the wind now, you're going to see a heavy, heavy dose of Q. First and 10 from their own 46. Here's the turn and the give to Quinton. He hits the hole with speed. But the field Kinley defense still is there. Gain of six. Yeah, still, still a good gain on first down. Watch that snap. It's hot. I mean, I mean, we got to have a fast so they can react. But uh oh, Quinn hobbling just a little bit. He gives the thumbs up to the sideline though. Cramping up. It wasn't his knee. It's just amazing when he come back. We all get. Yeah, <laughs> the, the little quick intake of breath. <laughs> yeah. Second down and five, upcoming. We'll we'll see if the coach. We'll see how it affected coach. We'll see what the play call is here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the jet sweep, to Caden. Oh my goodness, Quentin with a great block though to that defender who was roaring up the middle. You'll see that on the replay. Yeah, yeah. Is there's a field Kinley defender just coming with a? Does he do it with his arm or shoulder? I don't know, but yeah. it was. It looked violent. Oh, it man. was his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it looked like he'd run by him, yeah. and then he saw he was coming, and he's like, "I'm gonna get you." Saw that head whip back. <laughs> Third down and three. This is um, what I guessing would be two down territory here. Yeah, I trust that that's what Coach Rizal would do for us. Chris Harding's got the snap. 
give to Quentin. Quentin to the outside. He's got some room. If he can turn the corner, no. They, they put it outside, it. but he got he the got first it. down. But it looked like there was going to be more right at the beginning, but good pursuit. That was great pursuit. But, man, Quentin's got that dance. Stop. He can fire. He can move. Elliot Stevenson a little hobbled. He looked behind the line. He's hiding behind the huddle. He's <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. He's, so he you know, he's like, don't let coach see me. <laughs> yeah. I just got him. Got him. You know, got him. Maybe a little thigh, little ankles. Oh yeah, he got rolled up on there. Yeah. These tough kids staying out there. First and ten, Chanute. So here's the snap. It's high again. Back to pass on the fake. Chris Harding. Boy, he had a man wide open. Jace Tarter. Now making a guy's miss inside the 15. Well, he was wide open. I don't understand. I mean, that is awesome. But there's a pass interference. Caden Seamster hobbles off the field. You know, I wonder if we're cramping up because it's cold and we don't like to drink water when it's cold. You don't think about it as much. Yeah, he's like he's trying to stretch out there. Small has to be in great shape. He hasn't missed one play, I don't think. Jace Tarter also came to the sideline there. He got tackled pretty hard. He landed on the ball. They're paying attention They're to all him cramping. over there. So we got three receivers out there. We got a couple new guys in the game. Trevor Fields. Doesn't matter. They're giving it to Quentin. Quentin up the middle, fighting, but... Stopped after a gain of a couple. Yeah, that DN, that DN threw our uh, guard for a, maybe three yards, four yards. <laughs> Watch this. They're going to replay it here. It's not a good shot, but he uses it. That He must be a wrestler. 62 must wrestle. He's like, Ole, I'm going to throw you. Of course, 65 was in there, too, boys. I've been really impressed with him, Kane and White. The senior He's nose tackle right there. now. He's, He's giving it up for his senior year. Second down and eight. Schnoot in the red zone. Looking to make this a two-score game. Oh, pay attention to the snap. It's high again, but this time to give to Seamster. Seamster to his right. Cuts it up. Inside the five. Stretching, oh. and he's down inside the one. Wow, I thought he. That was hard. Well, the big package coming in now as they have first and goal inside the one. Boy, look at that block by Quentin. Great block. That's one thing about Chanute. They, when you said, what would, what would you say when Small was tying his shoe? They're teammates. Here's the quarterback sneak and the tush push is in for the score. Chris Harding the second on the quarterback sneak. That is a touchdown for Chanute to give them a little breathing room with 7.57 here to go in the game. Well, three Chanute dudes had to give all their, nose, their nose tackle a hand up. Yeah, we got we to gotta come up with a clever name like, you know, Philly does, the, the brotherly shove. <laughs> so what's ours? <laughs> Stevenson on for the extra point. Well, the defense was in he there got quick, the, but he nailed it. Got the miss out of his brain, and yep. that's the key to football. Forget the last play and play young. Well, come on back for the last 7.57. It should be interesting. Schnute leads it 14-0. to You're watching Comet Vision. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy, located right across the street from Royster Middle School in downtown Chinook, is in the business of making you feel better, faster. With three licensed pharmacists, the Medicine Shop has the knowledge to know the right drugs and the proper dosage to ensure your safety. If you're not quite up to your game, Medicine Shop offers delivery to your door. The Medicine Shop, a proud underwriter of the Chinook Blue Commons. Welcome back. Schnoop getting ready to kick off, leading it 14 to zero. It's been a hard fought game, but Schnoop finds themselves with a little breathing room here. Both teams have made some mistakes. 
but this for the first time one of them has wrested control of the game it'll be interesting to see field kinley's reaction on this drive i'd like to see a squib kick on the ground it is a short kick and it's going to hit the turf again man because that's why right still there on the ground to, it's hard to figure out where they're going to bounce because it's not round it's well you know it, a couple years ago Chanu was pretty well known for the tricker, the tricky kickoffs. They did a lot. And then last year, they didn't do it as much. And it seems to be catching them by surprise. But, man, I don't know. Anytime I was going up against a Cleet Frizzell team, I'd just be ready. He's like, hey, you, that ball hitting the turf is not good. <laughs> Someone's got to get under that. Yeah, and we're definitely not going to kick it to their It shocks speed. me. Yeah, it shocks me how many times the opposing team comes in here and is not ready, for, ready that. for that. There's a few coaches in across America that play at coach high school that have done it for 30 years and believe in the odds of kicking even the onside is worth it if you get a good defense. Well, we got a stoppage of play in a boy, we call it a timeout, timeout on first down. Oh my! Well, F Field Kinley is not a team built for built for speed to begin with. They're going to have to come up with two scores in 745. You're already kind of pushing the limits unless they can bust a big one, which Schnuch's defense has played pretty well enough that I can confidently say, hey, you're going to have to do some work to bust one. Yeah, they've definitely got their – they've done enough film watching and know their outside work. And So an interesting turn of events there is they have to burn a timeout as the, you know, the trainers pushing each other around outside the huddle there. They just give the people the water. I'm just kidding. Like, it just shows how tired they are. They call a timeout to go get coached. And then 65 did all he could to get there just to hear whatever coach had to say to run back in. He's been going both ways. And Chanute still looks fresh and young, ready to go. Well, we'll see what Coffeyville. Be nice to send Tater from this side. Here's the snap to He's earn. Earn fakes the handoff. Now throws to the wide Boom. receiver who just gets lit up. Beautiful on hit by Seamster. Seamster, and boy, the receiver is very slow getting up. As that was a beautiful hit. He got the wind knocked out of him. As they're going to take a look at him now as he goes down. Oh, hopefully he's Boom. okay. It looked like he just got maybe the wind knocked out of him a little bit. Yeah, there's he 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 took all 190 whatever Seamster weighs 195. You're going to see their, they got him in at 208. Yeah, they're checking on him. Well, that was a hard hit, and then it was just the kind of the, the way it was. The, oh, yeah, all him. the weight landed on him. Hopefully he'll be okay. You can see that he's in some discomfort. Okay. That could be his clavicle. Uh, he landed on his shoulder. They're checking his arm or labrum. Mm, yeah, because uh, that's always the danger of when you get hit and it's kind of top heavy, yeah. right? Uh, so if the defender kind of slips up, like as he's falling up towards your upper, you know, your upper body, yeah. and that whole weight landing on the ground. Let me see it right here. And yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. See, see how he kind of slips up as he's falling. But he landed flat. He wasn't on his shoulder like. I mean, so that was air more probably. He took all of Seamster right in his chest. Yeah. Hopefully he'll be okay. Yeah. He's number two, Lavier Logan, a six foot, 155 pound wide receiver, senior. Here's the snap to earn and earn another, another quick, quick pass, and they're letting him throw the ball. They do have the win now, so it's a, a little less of a dicier proposition. That was the same play they just played. So first down, Coffeyville moving the chains. Okay, so you're showing they're at least showing Chanute, hey, we have this we didn't give in up. our repertoire. We can do this. That'll keep the defense a little honest. Maybe set up another run by Tunstall. Be nice to see our D call it, get our corners tightened up, and then get a pick. They got they got to keep going for a score. Axel Earn with the snap. He's looking, looking, lets one go deep. This is going to go over everybody. Now that this time, now with the wind. 
So the, the crowd got worked up. Oh, it's a flag. Okay. It wasn't even catch. It was over yeah, they, his head. He, this has to be defensive holding. If it's not defensive holding, then I'm not sure about this. Called pass interference. Uh, I just don't know about that, Coach. It's got to be catchable ball. It is. Boy, they did. They called pass interference. It I, was over his head. It wasn't even close. I mean, the, they, they were touching it. Do we have a replay? Mm. Let's watch this. It is the, the stop and start, and there is little contact. It could call it legal contact. There's arm. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Where? I don't know about that, Coach. They were both touching each other. It's arm, it was an arm. Well, there certainly wasn't enough there to make that a catchable ball. No. At any rate, it's first and ten. Here's a quick pass again out to the sideline as he makes the first man miss. He did a quick juke. Stevenson had his head down. Came up to make the play. Just needs to run through him. Well, Alex Earn is right there. Just run through him. He breaks down, but asking him to make throws now, and he's making accurate, quick throws. Stevenson comes off to get some coaching. They are, I mean, seriously, he's telling them what he wants from down there on the sideline. Second down and one. They marked him just short of the sticks. The man in motion. Turn the give to Tunstall. Tunstall off to his left. Has some room. Flag is down. That's probably coming back. It is coming back. That's holding. Well, it's been, it's kind of been that kind of night. Tunstall, saw Tunstall's <laughs> he's frustrated, but <laughs> yeah, the, the two times he's had that kind of room out there, there's been a hole. And yeah, yeah, there it was. Number 71 on 52. Hunter Anderson, we've called his name a few times today. Yeah, he's. That's going to move them back. Going to be about second down and nine here. The good news here, if there's good news for Field Kinley after a penalty, is not much clock, not much time is run in all this. Yeah, there's been inc- yeah, there's been out of bounds, there's been penalties, and so the clock's still at 6:49. They haven't used a lot of time to get down to this part. Here's the snap. Earn fakes the handoff, looking to throw, lets one go, and he's got a man that's almost picked off. Well, Chase Tarker got a oh, hand on he, it. That would have been a great catch. One-hander. Actually, the receiver becomes the defender there, and Amani Luton puts a good defense on that ball, and that's the reason he doesn't come up with it. <clears throat> Tarker almost made a great one-handed. Nern just, uh, just overthrew his receiver a little bit. Third down and nine. Clearly a two, uh, clearly a, they're going to go for a fourth down here if it is necessary at this oh. point in the game. Here's the snap to earn, just that little reception again and get some good yardage, and he'll be just short of the first down. Going to bring up fourth down in about two. We're not going to let something go over our head. Now they're playing it really safe out there. So. Third and fourth and thir- two, fourth and three. So this is going to come down here, I'm guessing. Quentin up the middle. To send Aaron Tunstall. Send him, coach. Send him up the middle. They look back for the play call. Fourth and two. This is probably the game for Field Kinley. Snap. Give to Tunstall. Tunstall trying to string it out and does. Well, good run there by Tunstall. And the drive continues for Field Kinley. Dang. Schnooch defense showing a little weariness. They look a little gassed. They're yeah. subbing them in and out. Seems they're coming off the field. He has to come off. He must have lost his air. So first down and 10. Now all the way down to the Schnoot 14. The give to Tunstall's. He's going to get hit in the backfield. Number 46. Fitzmorris. Cash. Fitzmorris. Big play right there on first down. Well, he just shot the gap and was in there quick. They haven't run a lot of variations of those run plays, Coach. They've looked pretty much the same. 
maybe what, like four or five different kind of variations yeah. there. Yeah, and they go through the B or C gap or they go sweet. sweet. They've run a couple that were like kind of misdirections where they yeah. fake to the other back. Second down and 13. They Clock got, continues to run. They got tired and quit doing the pooling. Earn's going to put it up or he's going to tuck it and run. He runs out of time and throws it, just throws it away. That's and a smart play. Just over the hands of Tartar. That'll bring up third down. Tater. That stops the clock with 4.48 to go in the game. It's interesting that as we were looking and just got some time, we're pretty young too. We've got a few, yeah, the a handful of seniors that are playing, that have been playing, that are going to leave us. But um, Coffeeville just burned their second time out. It looks like we, we're building still for the future again. Well, it's nice to see when three years with you that it's yeah keeps refilling. Yeah, the future's still bright for you. You got a sophomore quarterback that you're starting. You're going to lose Caden. Caden seems to be the senior, yeah. but uh, you know Quentin Harding's a junior, and you lose Tater. Like, the, he's like, a receiver. In yeah, the well, when Quentin Harding's been healthy, uh, you show me a junior running back. That's Anywhere like in the state that's looked as good as him, right? Uh, so he, I mean, he has a he has a chance to go into the next year being looked at as one of the best running backs in the state of Kansas. And so, anytime you got that coming back, the future is pretty bright uh, for Chanute. And then you're losing uh, Ka Cash Fitzmorris, Hunter Anderson, Quentin Gregory, which and. Uh, Peyton Hurst. Yeah, you're losing some size so on the that line. Starts. That's that'll be what they have to replace uh, moving and forward. Thurston and and, but, and uh, yeah, Augustus. Augustus Thurston. Thurston. The wheels on the bu the wheels on the Gus will be going round and round somewhere else <laughs> next year. <laughs> so that'll be where we have to refill the line. Third down and thirteen. We're gonna have two two plays here to get these thirteen yards. Wouldn't be surprised to see him go ahead and give it to. Count your players. They're do everything run running back Aaron Tunstall. They've got two running backs in the backfield. Now man in motion. And it is the give to Tunstall going that direction. He's got a lot of blockers over there, stretched out well, but a good gain as he's pushed out of bounds by Quentin Hardy. That was two guards and the fullbacker, the other tailback, whatever you want to call it, pulling to try to be a lead for him. Stops the clock at 441, and again, another must-have play for the NATO if they want to keep their chances alive here. It's 14 to nothing. Schnute leads with 441 to go in the game. We could bend, we don't break. They need to stop them right here. Big play for the Blue Comet defense. I'm sure they want to keep that clean sheet. I'll go to the other side. Here's the give to number 41 going the other direction. Quentin Hardy in pursuit, couldn't get him. Still has some work to do and they're not gonna make it. That is gonna be a turnover on downs. Great, a great pursuit. Great play right there. Good. Yeah. Quentin Harding drove him out way wide, and he just couldn't get there. And then Stephen Sarah, to make the tackle, Quentin went for his feet. And great read, though. Yeah, look, Quentin Harding really makes that play by drinking him, taking him out so wide. Elliot Stevenson also number and then Fitzmorris comes 46, in to finish Cash off. Fitzmorris. So 4.33 to go now here in the game. First and 10 for Schnute. So we got to be careful with our snaps that we've had because it's the ball on the eight-yard line, seven-yard line. Can't have no misplays for lack of chance of a safety. Yeah, watch the snaps here. They still got them lining up in the gun. The snap's high, but... Manageable, and here's Quentin Harding. Big run on first down, and he goes down in play, which is important now as the clock continues to move. 
You can see the motion of the defense as we watch the screen here. Uh, the facial expressions on the linebackers are starting to change. Their heads are starting to hang. Well, gosh, they got the field Kinley's defense got to be exhausted. Oh, A lot of sure. these kids playing both ways. They played admirably yep. and well. I mean, this is not an easy offense to keep the clamps on, and they've only allowed 14 points. And they've just, yeah, you're right, they look gassed. They just, yeah. They'll let that clock keep it running. Now they're snapping. Harding's got lots of room to this side. 30 out to the 40. Boy, he was 15 yards downfield before he got touched, Coach. That's where it's just starting to wear him out. Yeah, I'm, Our guard's pulling, and there's no one for him to hit, and Quentin passes him because. And the NATO just running out of gas here. He tries. Huh? Incredible. What a runner they have yep. in Quentin Harding. <laughs> the play comes back in. Still 20 seconds on the play clock, so they will continue to let this clock run, work the clock. The NATO only have one timeout nice left. He can't and work his butt off like that and keep up and have to get past just because you're running alongside your running back. Here's the snap. Oh, they Give pulled to him Quentin, again. And Quentin's going to get stopped in the backfield this time. So a loss of one on that play, but the clock keeps moving. Seemed like the torn. What did you call him? The torn. The, the NATO. The golden tornado. The NATO is um, defensive coach. Sent everybody that time. Yeah, well. At I least mean, on the right side of the line. He's like, yeah. We're going to take and a chance. Honestly, it's. It's a good risk to make. You, yeah. You're pretty sure that Schnee's running the ball. You're down to one timeout. They're they're not putting this ball in the air. And they've been having trouble with the snaps. Yeah. Wow, you, you send the guys I'd be, I'd at the right time. Yeah. Them. This yeah. isn't a given. You don't have nothing to lose. There's a good snap and a give to Quentin. Quentin biding his time, following his blocks. Boy, one spin right there. But the defense. Something got thrown. I think it was a shoe. Someone lost a shoe. Was that, was that Quentin's shoe? We got two Field Kinley players down. We're going to have an injury timeout. We'll take a break right now. As we hope One those two play. guys are all right. Quentin's going to have to come off to get that thing put on. You're watching Comet Vision. Timeout. We'll be right back. Missing that human touch at your bank? At Community National Bank & Trust, you'll be able to talk with a real person. Community National Bank is small enough to know you, yet big enough to offer the best products. Your busy lifestyle requires banking options like mobile deposit and people-to-people -people pay. With locations in Southeast Kansas and Southwest Missouri, Community National Bank & Trust can help keep your finances safe and your spending smarter. Online at mybankcnb.com. Community National Bank & Trust. Federally insured. Locally awesome. Member FDI. KFEX Firescape Radio programming is made possible in part by the underwriting efforts of Sonic Drive-In of Chanute. Sonic Drive-In of Chanute does not consider community involvement a sales gimmick or a public relations ploy. They see it as a way to be a good neighbor and as a way to have a positive impact on their community. It is for these reasons that Sonic Drive-In of Chanute is a proud underwriter of KFEX Firescape Radio and the ministry efforts of the entire Firescape ministry to the youth of Chanute. See that guy's neck Vegas though. Like Well welcome back as they are helping those two field Kinley players off the field. We saw on the replay. They just the pursuit of the of the running back for Schnute. You just had a helmet to helmet collision. Just one of those things that happens in football where Hopeful that that big number 71 will be okay, but he took the brunt of it right in the face mask. Keaton Jones, six foot four, 321 pound junior. 
And it was his his own teammate going for the tackle. Yeah, you'll and see. Gonna see it in the you'll see it here. here on the replay after this spin by Harding. Seventy one, bottom of your screen. The pursuit from the backside is just oh, gonna. It's their middle linebacker. They go head to head. Right Boom. there. So that probably a concussion protocol on both of those guys. Uh, now middle linebacker still in the game, so he uh, he jumped up. I don't know how he could be playing still because both of them were laying down. Don't he have to take a playoff? Well, I don't know. Yeah, he must be okay. Seventy-one was. The clock continues to run now. Meanwhile, it's a third and nine. I still would be surprised to see them put this in the air. I think this is probably a, another Quentin Harding run. If he doesn't make it, they punt. There's the movement, the give to Quentin. Quentin picking his way up the middle, and he's going to get a couple. Uh, I, don't I, would think, expect. I don't think we punt. Uh, are you sure? I don't think we do. Field Kinley's got a timeout, but they are not using it, at least not yet. A bit. At least the scoreboard says they have a timeout. They don't, do they? No, I don't think they, they would have do. used it if they had yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they got to they got to punt this. They might be doing that uh, pooch kick. Yeah, yeah. We, they, I think that's what they're going to do. They're going to let the clock run out. They'll call a timeout. Got six on the play clock, 31 on the game clock. And there is the timeout with one on the play clock. 27 seconds left in the game. Well, you hate to see kids get injured that close to the end of the game. Well, I hope big number 71 is okay for Field Kinley and he'll be able to continue playing next week. I hope a lot of that's just exhaustion. And I mean, yeah, you got it. Bell rung, but yeah, feel, nothing serious. Yeah, they've had a good season. That's going to continue next week for them. They played good here tonight. They just kind of ran into a Chanute team that has their answer on defense. They played a little bit, I think, next week. No, they just played a little bit. That's who they beat before last. So fourth down and seven. And I would imagine Schnoot will come out and punt the ball here. Up 14 to 0. I remember you just said. Do you just about punt? The, you talked about Frizzell's trickery. Do you just punt this ball out of bounds? You don't, you don't want to give them a cha any chance on a return. We are not punting it to their returner. We haven't kicked to them all night. Well, the offense is out there, but that doesn't mean anything as they kind of utilize that quarterbacks to punter kind of game. So we'll see what he chooses to do. They're talking. They're huddling up. So Seamster comes out here to the near side. So their corner is locked up tight on our guy. So, and their other corner across is giving eight yards. Now they don't get the first down. That clock does stop on the change of possession. He's going to put the ball in the air, and it is caught. What a catch, pass and catch to Seamster. Fitting. Well, that's a fitting end for the senior here on senior night. That's a great play. He threw it the only place that Seamster could get it and no risk of getting it. That's a great pass by Chris Harding, yep, the sophomore. It hasn't been, it hasn't been the fun kind of night that like they like to have sometimes where they get to throw some touchdown passes. The wind's been kind of crazy. The snaps have been a little inconsistent. Uh, but, yeah, that was a nice pitch and catch right there. Nice to see a bullet to the outside where you're not got a risk. That's why Coach called it. He knew he was going to – you don't have a risk for him to put it upfield and get an interception. And now the victory formation and the kneel down, and that'll do it. So Chanute's going to take home a win here on senior night. And what I would imagine is a pretty – if it's not a clinching game for the SEK, it'll be nearly clinching because uh, no one else had a win going into SEK play going in but besides these two teams. So we'll see 
We'll see what happens in the other games going on, but this is a pretty big win for them, and they'll get uh, they'll get ready for Labette County next week. I just – it's definitely nothing to go in and hang your head about because you did what you wanted. You had the ball. The oh. possession of the game was yours. Yes. It's just that the scoreboard don't seem like oh, you dominated well, I, when you look at it. I guess, but, you know – you did nothing. Them, they this is a good field I, Kinley team. This is a good, they played well. The defense played well. And granted, Schnoot made a lot of mental errors. There was some mistakes, but let's give credit to to the, the NATO because they played good enough to stay in this game and um, show that their record's not a fluke. That's a good team. And they'll that's a scary matchup for someone in the playoffs now. Yeah, they come rolling in there with your their middle of the pack seed. And one of the best running backs in 4A in Aaron Tunstall. And yeah, that's not an easy matchup. No, I 100% agree with you. And it's cool. it's nice to see a program turn, turning yeah. younger to where it's competition. Yeah. So and that's how you get keep kids coming out. Let's give game balls. Who, your offensive game ball seems kind of obvious. It goes to the big Q, Quentin yeah. Harding with a big night. Uh, I'm running on the ground again, and the best part is, is he looks healthy, he looks durable, he looks strong. Like there was no, there was no, like there was one time where he he went down, uh, kind of interesting, uh, but you know, like it wasn't clearly wasn't anything to do with his knee. He just got hit in the thigh or something like that. Uh, who's your defensive game ball going to? Well, they have to go to Fitzmorris or uh, Small, and I'm just going to give it to Small. He was all over the field. He caused a lot of. Yeah, the stops. Yeah, uh, yeah, maybe maybe a duel. You we can give, give a it duel because yeah. it wasn't like no one really had like the amazing nope. plays, but it was just solid, solid defensive effort. And anytime you're talking about solid defense, you know you're going to talk about Cade Small. So those of you at home, we just want to let you know that they're getting ready to do the band show under the lights. So don't turn off your YouTube and continue watching. Yeah, yeah. As we sign off here on on behalf of. Uh, myself and uh, Coach Chad, and uh, by the way, the entire broadcasting classes of the high school here, this is all, everything you've seen is the camera work, the production, it's all being done by the students. This is student-led, and they're doing this, so uh, any any quality that you're attaching to this broadcast, give credit to these kids who are learning how to put on a production under the tutelage of one Mr. Caleb Wood, who does a wonderful job here. Uh, teaching these kids how to do this. We just get to be a part of it, and we're thankful for that. Agreed. All right, stay tuned. The Marching Band with a light show coming up. Don't go anywhere.
Like we've got an ivory colored, gold colored Apple iPhone turned into the press box as well. With two fading beauties overlooking the lake. For your screensaver. 